We interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast program to bring you these interdimensional announcements from the Underground Initiative. We would like to offer our thanks to the people and organizations that help make the Underground Initiative what it is today. Some of the music you're hearing in the background comes courtesy of Midnight Syndicate. These horror music pioneers can be found on Spotify, iTunes, Ask Alexa for Midnight Syndicate, or at their website at midnightsyndicate.com. A big thank you to the one, the only, Kevin McLeod. Check out the amazing works of Kevin McLeod, a full-time composer who has published over 2,000 works of musical genius, most of which he's made available for others to use using the Creative Commons by Attribution 3.0 license. His work can be viewed on YouTube and IncompTech.com. Thank you, Irutan, for letting us use your music. This amazing savant of Celtic and medieval melodies can be found on YouTube and irutanmusic.com. We would also like to thank Blizzard Entertainment, CD Projekt Red, and Bethesda for having such iconic and impactful music, as well as allowing for fans to utilize said content in productions like these. Please keep in mind that this is all fan-generated content and is not sponsored or endorsed by Blizzard Entertainment, CD Projekt Red, or Bethesda. We just really enjoy their content. A big shout-out to Derek and Brandon Feitcher. Their amazing compositions can be found on YouTube under Fantasy and World Music by the Feitchers, as well as iTunes, Bandcamp, Amazon, and Spotify. Go check them out. Stringstorm does music, voice acting, sound effects, and more. There's a lot of creative symphonic metal music on their YouTube channel, and most, if not all, of their songs can be purchased at store.stringstorm.info. Various artists and animators were vital in bringing the Underground Initiative to life. We would like to thank Edvartico, who can be found at twitter.com slash Edvartico. Sunzaki Kojika. Check out her artwork and content at twitch.tv slash Sanzaki Kojika and CJ Emmanuel II. Thank you very much and enjoy the show. Welcome, initiates, to the Underground Initiative, a secret underground organization where a menagerie of maddening Midwesterners gather around to explore the realms beyond through the medium of tabletop RPGs. Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Green Day. Happy Green Day, everyone! Um, Green Day. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it is um, at time of recording, it is the day before St. Patrick's Day, so when this comes out, it's going to be a week late, but hey, um, we're, like I said, we're, for, for us, this is like as on time as we can get our, ourselves, and I think that's pretty neat. Um, Jeremy's fault. One. Which one? <laughs> yes. Uh, that that being said, um, you know we, we hope that we're, wherever you are slash were, as part of this over recording and whatnot, that, that you enjoyed your St. Patrick's Day or your Green Day or hey your Sunday, uh, whichever whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, if you want us to enjoy our every days, uh, you can ch check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash underground initiative uh, and uh, consider becoming one of our patrons. Um, uh, your every uh, d d donation will help make the, uh, the, the, the service of, of what we do just better uh, overall. Um, it also supports my... Uh, my uh, crippling uh, uh, addiction to plastic miniatures uh, for for the t table. Uh, I'm getting hooked on Dwarven Forge, and it's expensive. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, uh, uh, better um, cameras, sound uh, e e equipment, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et et cetera. We really do uh, appreciate it. Um, uh, every d d dollar that could come our, our, our way and if you just if, if you just want to watch that's fine too uh, like share subscribe do all of those things we like it we like it when you watch <laughs> we like it when you watch <laughs> I'll drink to this 
Uh, so yeah, uh, we do have. Uh, we it do sounds have like some... something you could put on the day. <laughs> <laughs> we do have have juice. So uh, in the name of uh, Saint Patrick's Day, uh, Happy Saint Patrick's Day to you and yours. Oh. Always drink responsibly. Clink, clink. <laughs> I'm a lightweight. It's got a unique taste to it. It does taste a little earthy. There's taste? <laughs> tastes like what I imagine makeup tastes like. <laughs> it tastes like a permanent marker. Mine tastes like a charcoal briquette. <laughs> like the whole kit or just like individual pieces? Like if you open a thing and it tastes like it's like your tongue in it. Ah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure our coworker Matt will be glad you said that. <laughs> a little bit, and he does watch these. <laughs> a, a little bit of, bit of, of soot. Hey, Matt, thank you. Truly, you know we, we do appreciate. It. When you're he right, you're right. He, he didn't you know? buy it for us. He recommended it for me. We <laughs> accept the recommendation. I will always stand behind my statement that Earl Grey tea tastes like socks. <laughs> uh, tastes like stick water. Stick. <laughs> just like that, we've lost the entire European country. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Well, the European the country? Way. The country. The whole country. <laughs> the whole country. The whole you sit there and think about that. <laughs> we haven't even started drinking yet. Slow down. <laughs> uh, that, that being you said. You see that bottle? It's not going to drink itself. <laughs> that being said. Uh, oh, uh, can you go ahead and turn that bottle around so that we don't have its name showing anymore? You think the cameras can read that? Probably not. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, turn it all the way around so the smaller, yeah, yeah so the smaller can, label, so the smaller that title sign. Darn it, it's visible either way. <laughs> um, I like Guy said, it likes to watch. <laughs> uh, under um, patreon.com slash underground initiative uh, to fuel our uh, shenanigans. Uh, we appreciate it, and uh, we appreciate uh, the, the <clears throat> watching and the lurking, uh, and the likes and the comments and the everythings. Uh, and uh, with that out of the way, I suppose we can begin. we left off. The Fist is in uh, the Wild Gallop Garrison and the surrounding uh, mountains and valleys of beyond uh, on a quest to uncover more information on uh, for Cold Cross on what it means to be a Grunch blood. Uh, someone chosen by four of uh, Grunch's uh, uh, children to be this uh, this force on the prime of material plane, whatever that that means. Uh, every turn Colcross has gone to in regards to the the Groom's floods, uh, all of the shamans that he has spoken with have been intentionally vague, giving him just little morsels of in information uh, every now and then. But here, uh, pr pr presumably, is the uh, first time that Cole Cross can probably get some better solid answers. After completing a handful of, of tr trials in the nearby the valleys uh, <clears throat> beyond the Wild Gallop Garrison, uh, Cole Cross uh, coming face to, to face with one of the uh, totems 
that uh, was described to, to him, uh, to depicting the entire orcish pan pantheon, this large but skinny uh, black adamantine to to totem uh, at the at the entrance of this cave. But before entering the cave uh, with um, the offerings in hand, a piece of a stone piercer root, uh, some uh, silk from a uh, phase spider matriarch, and a arrowhead that was embedded in the skull of a troll. Um, and after dr drinking a, uh, a broth of uh, unnamed gruel from uh, Rarn's, uh, Steel Gaze. <sighs> Shaman of the people of the Stampede tribe. Uh, Colcross is now, now finds himself in a realm of these floating, uh, geometric shapes. Uh, some the size of islands, others the size of continents, just floating in space. Um, some are near, some are far, some are moving fast, some are, mo are mo moving slow. Uh, some of these shapes are uh, polyhedral in d d design, mostly um, uh, <coughs> s symmetrical, others not so. Um, and uh, even uh, the ground that Colcross stands on is presumably just one of many of these uh, shapes, and he stands on the edge of one as a herd, a stampede of mounted orcs charge towards him with red glowing eyes. As And at the last minute before they charge into Colcross at the end of this cliff, they jump onto another floating geometric shape, just like not even a hundred feet away, more like 20. You can high five the other guy on uh, on this flo 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 floating shape. And they jump to this uh, other shape that is filled with angry goblins. And they just clash and, and fight as, the, as this island, this floating uh, uh, island just moves away from Colcross and uh, out of view. And as he stands there, just wondering, what, where the hell have I gotten myself into? What was in that, that gruel? Um, a lone figure steps out from the mist, approaching Colcross. The figure's form seems to shape. It elongates. It widens. Uh, the hair transforms from short to long to short to braids to ponytails to mohawk to bald. Um, the matter of clothing ch changes from uh, fur hides to bare chested to uh, and finally settling on a figure that looks like a very stern yet tall, uh, handsome half orc of, of about six, seven feet tall, uh, long black leather uh, wax treated trench coat, uh, no undershirt. Um, long, uh, past the shirt shoulder length, brown hair. It was black, but it eventually settled to brown. Um, this clean shaven, fairly handsome, uh, half orc figure with a, with a long bow strapped to his back. And it's just uh, half orc Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> or Keanu Reeves. Uh, the individual, <laughs> this, uh, this individual regards you uh, Cold Cross. So, it appears that another one seeks my blessing. I am Ilnaval, the War Master of Grunch. Who are you? How do you spell that? Ilnaval. <laughs> Could you ask him in character? Do you? Yeah, do you? <laughs> spell How do you spell that? Uh, I L N E V A L. So they're like you're taking an order at a restaurant. <laughs> I L N E V A. -L. Oh, I got you. I was, I was waiting for the recap of the question since I was focused on spelling his name. Sure, sure, that's fine. <clears throat> Who are you to seek my blessing? Uh, I'm Colcross from the uh, 
Hellrunner clan. I see. And what offerings have you brought to me? Where are we? Uh, he looks around. Do you not recognize you one of your potential futures? I I don't have foresight, so no. <laughs> Is that something I get? We shall see. You are in the realm of Acheron. Here on this plane. And uh, you watch as uh, the the figure calling themselves Il Nibal um, points to the various floating shapes. Every single one of those has armies on them, fighting for their own individual causes. Some good, some selfish. Others out of spite, and many, they don't even know why they're fighting at all. They've been here too long, and all they know is the thrill of combat. This is where we are. This is the home of our father, Grush. This is where I rule and wage war eternal in his name. Wait, did you fail the test then? You're stuck here? Yes and no. I succeeded in my tests. I was noticed by Father Grunsch for my tenacity and my unique tactics for war. I jumped at the chance of uh, becoming one of his chosen to be elevated to godhood. I guess while he's doing this speech, I'm probably getting out all the stuff that we got. <laughs> uh, while while you're, you're, you're doing that, he gestures to a nearby... Uh, like raised uh, stone dais, almost like a, like just a, just a large slab of stone that uh, can be utilized as a, a waist high table. Um, and uh, he gestures at like that. Here is where you put your offerings. Are we right next to the table, or are we walking towards? Uh, it? you're you're walking to, to towards it. It's not that far away. It's only like ten feet away. And uh, as you're walking, you you notice that uh, that there is uh, dirt and ground uh, beneath your your feet. But uh, as you look down at it, it's not dirt. It's finely powdered metallic dust that has reached the consistency of something akin to dirt. Um, and. Uh, even the uh, pedestal that uh, Il, Il Nival is uh, gesturing you towards, uh, it's it looks like it's stone, but it's all metal. And uh, go ahead and make a, make a nature check, if you wouldn't mind. Hey, one second, I was in my notes. I'll say, because you're in the, the presence of a orcish demigod, uh, this check can be made at advantage. You said nature? Nature. I get plus nothing, so 19. 19. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> now, you've seen visions, uh, like once you uh, first entered this place, um, you saw like the weird uh, tra trajectory that a lot of these floating uh, uh, islands take. A lot of them do bash into one uh, another on occasion. And when they collide, they don't break completely. Parts of them will break off, and those will become more islands uh, for <clears throat> armies to uh, to take hold of and, uh, you know, plant a flag in like, this I claim in the name of blank. And uh, over time, like the, like, these places have probably existed for a very <clears throat> long time, like since time began. So the the dust that, that you're seeing here is like the powdered remnants of other um, other uh, islands just clanging and banging into one uh, another and and leaving a, a fine powdery residue. And even the 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 shape, whatever it is that that you're w w walking on. It's entirely made of metal, and you get the idea that everything is made of, of metal, and that th that thrumming 
booming reverberation sound that you, you're hearing. It's the sound of these metal islands banging into each other, reverberating and compressing, reverberating and compressing forever and, and ever. It's, it's, a, it's a trippy world. Will this be grounded enough eventually? Perhaps. Or it will turn into something bigger and grander. Only time will tell. And there is much time to be had still. Uh, as uh, he brings you towards this da da dais, uh, he uh, stands on the other side of where you are and he just crosses his arms and uh, just waits for you to uh, present what it, what it is you have. Oh, I would have put, put them up there, the, the, the tree roots, because they're not branches. The, the bare minimum of the spider silk, because I think that's all I was given. I don't know if I had all of it. I don't think I had all of it. Uh, you had a full spool. <clears throat> well, yeah, the full spool. But we had like 10 spools or something or whatever. Yeah. I had just a spool, and then I had a spool of five. Yeah, you... Uh, I didn't you, take it. <laughs> uh, you were requested to present one, uh, one full spool, which you, which you had. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if I had my item plus everything else or just the one spool. Understood. So, the root the spool, and then the arrowhead. Interesting. Uh, you watch as uh, Il N N Nivala moves his hands across the uh, the stone uh, pi piercer root. It's this long piece of gnarled root. Uh, but it's just over six feet long. How did you acquire this root? Well, I had my party speak to the bear us outside to let us pass, and then we stuck it and took it. You asked for permission, and then you snuck it. Interesting. Well, their mother was asleep, and they said that she's a jerk. So you stole from a, from a sleeping mother. Yeah, plenty of them in there. They, they said we could take it. <laughs> they said just don't wake mom. Kill them all. In, uh, ma ma make an inside check with advantage. <laughs> He's a kid out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the bears said, didn't they? That you the disgust bears. me. Wait, what am I? What am I making? Uh, inside check. The, the child bears were just, just normal, like, right? Yeah, there's, uh, there's tree roots yeah there. this so will be normal. Like, sure. Uh, should I spool the spider silk around oh, the troll penis cocked. so you get a surprise later? That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I present to you this gift. <laughs> Okay, that's about like, the anyway. spool. Um, <laughs> Why is there a penis in the center? Inside would be an unnatural 20. <laughs> unnatural tw 20. This is so um, Jill the ball is very card. hard to, to, to read. Uh, he seems, he's not looking at you with a look of scorn. He's not looking <laughs> or like, Mother, are you for real right now? Not scorn, not intrigue. He is, he is like a brick wall. It is very hard to gauge what's uh what his mind says set is but you don't sense like <clears throat> you don't sense anything ne negative from his from his gaze uh which is a little off putting but eh, that's what you, you notice and the thread the well school. well the initial plan didn't work which is to use Use our bird companion to lead all of them away and try and search for it. So we had, we, we ended up killing the spiders. I see. So you try to lure an enemy from their defensive p p position, the entire bulk of their uh, army, and attempted to raid and pillage their treasures, so so to speak. If you want to put it that way, yeah. Is that not what what happened? I was tasked with getting these. You were, and you have succeeded. Tell me of the arrowhead. Oh, we blew that troll up. After killing it three times. Only three. Yes. <laughs> hmm. 
my they, day, they had more more lives. Regardless, well, a fireball will do that. I see. Put my beard out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the my my the hair on your chin chin chin. <laughs> Tell me, that one they said they wanted dead. Oh yes, trolls. <laughs> Just annihilate them whenever you, you can. They are a blight upon any world that they will walk on. And if they tell you otherwise, they are lying. This one didn't speak. Good. Did you try and talk to it? Did we try? You're not here. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the ethereal voice of... Uh, Orland, no, did you talk to it? Talk to it? Talk to it? There's no oh, room right. for diplomacy in the first. <laughs> Luster bears. <laughs> Bless you, Luster bears. Let me ask you this. You attempted <clears throat> diplomacy in one way, shape, or form with the bears and not with the spiders. Why? We ran out of speak with the animals. Had you had the answer truthfully, had you had such um, abilities at your d- d- disposal, would you have attempted to parlay with the spiders? Not if Salik was there, he probably would have wanted to kill him. <laughs> kill, 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 kill. Well, yeah, <laughs> Salik wasn't here, and we've talked to spiders before. I wouldn't see why not. I don't think my taskmaster said that I had. we had to murder all the spiders. I think he said to get it one way or another. These tests... I do not doubt that you would have been able to complete these two challenges one way or the the other. I desired to know who it is that seeks my, my blessing. And it seems that as long as you have the resources to do so, diplomacy might be the first course of, uh, of action. And when that fails, you rely on trickery. And when that fails, brute force. I mean, unless it's an abomination, I don't think that weird Hydra face thing was going to talk to us. The what? <laughs> Remind me what that enemy was. Uh, oh yeah, the Void Mind. Yeah, the I, don't void think mind. The, I don't think that Void Mind was, uh, was talking. You it broke was... the DM, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the spirit, the what? <laughs> the what now? <laughs> We weren't supposed to talk about this. <laughs> it's a top secret mission. He's my God's God. Yeah. He's, he's hey, my they, God's they, they sent to the government. He's a deity. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. Well, but don't tell the government I told you. <laughs> yeah. I am. You need to hear. As of this point, Cole Cross of the Hill Renders, my decision to bestow upon you one of my blessing is still being weighed. Let us converse more. Uh, but as we we do, he picks up the uh, the arrowhead. Um, the <clears throat> arrowhead itself is uh, is not made of stone; it is made of metal, and it, it has a uh, it has uh, three uh, d- distinctly uh, sharp bits, like one at the the top and the, the other two uh, near the bottom are particularly sharp. Uh, and um, uh, he goes, um, hold out your hand. Which one? Surprise me. Give me my left hand. <laughs> uh, he, he takes your left hand in his and uh, he stabs one of the uh, sides of the arrowhead into your hand. Ow. Uh, Does it hurt, actually? (laughs) uh, Yeah, it hurts. Uh, You take six points of piercing damage. Are you down? (laughs) I'm down, man. (laughs) And uh, you watch as he takes the uh, the arrowhead uh, covered in uh, some of your blood. He turns it on the other side, stabs it into his hand. To, to draw blood, and now there is uh, blood, yours and his, on the uh, arrowhead. 
Uh, he flicks the arrowhead back to, to, to you. Uh, do you catch it? I'll try to. You catch it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, well, roll I'm not going to be that. <laughs> the other <laughs> gonna be that I'm not sure if I let it get stabbed into your hand. <laughs> the other you hand. take another. <laughs> <laughs> take with that, using only that <clears throat> arrowhead, I would like for you to whittle down the uh, the stone pier- piercer root. Just carve off the uh, gnarled ed- ed- edges, but uh, try to keep its length as much as you can. How big, is this, How big is this arrowhead? Uh, it is not that that that, that big. It's gonna take <coughs> take you some. It's gonna be like. It's it's gonna take you some time, but uh, okay, well, but as uh, but uh, do you do so? Well, I mean, it's my it's my test. He's supposed to be my guide here, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, you pick up the the piece of stone pier, pier, piercer root. It is uh, fairly heavy, and you're not sure if that's just it feels he- heavy in the in the presence of this entity in this realm, or if it's always been heavy. And I'm losing a lot of blood here. But uh, you're getting weaker by the second. But um, <laughs> uh, uh, as you start to uh, carve in, 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 into it, you notice that the arrowhead, still coated <clears throat> in blood. Uh, Cuts through the, the 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 root with relative ease, uh, like a knife through butter almost. So trying to remain on the edge, I probably like go way too quick the first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you take like a whole four to five feet worth of uh, m- m- material just going. <laughs> And uh, and now you realize the the, the thing that you're, you're you're working with is a little more potent than you expected to, to to be. And you watch as a uh, Il N- Nival takes uh, some of the uh, the spider silk and starts to draw long thin threads from it. And uh, he's uh, in the process of uh, of mixing and bundling and measuring. Uh, you're not exactly sure what's going on here. Uh, tell me. I hope it's a hat. <laughs> While this is going on, um, <clears throat> what put you on this path to understand the nature of a group's blood? Well, during training, are you the spirits that come out when I get angry? Is that Me you or is and that somebody else? It is the spirits of uh, Groomsh's for ch- ch- children. Yes, I am among one of the spirits. Well, during training, you guys came out suddenly, and I didn't know what it was. Technically, the clan acted like they didn't know what it was, but they knew what it was. <laughs> and they told me I had to go on the journey, and I did. Hmm. Otherwise, I, otherwise, I couldn't come back home. <laughs> All right, I just got one thing. He sees you when you're raging. <laughs> he knows when you lose a fight. He knows when you crit or not. <laughs> so be good or Eldritch fight. I don't know. <clears throat> it seems that your tribe did the right thing. For one, your tribe will act actually remembers what uh, what a groom's blood is and they are quick to rec- recognize their the omens of one i'm not sure they do know everyone's been kind of very vague about the ordeal that is the point you see there are many orc tribes on many worlds that they don't know what they have forgotten the old ways. They do, they do not have a dedicated shaman to interpret these uh, these signs, these marks of a, a groomed blood. Um, a lot of times, and uh, you'll you'll watch, and uh, as you're whittling the the root up <coughs> down, uh, your in in your mind you see visions of. Uh, like a small pack of orcs, no more than ten, and one of them comes of age, and during training or an actual fight, they'll they'll fly into like a berserker rage uh, for no reason whatsoever. Those who are chosen to wield 
to wield the powers of, of Grush, to wield their, his divine strength and, and fury, are met with fury that incarnate. This is supposed to promote the idea of wanderlust for for the groom's blood in, in question, to seek out in, in order to understand who and what they are. However, most will just see this as a means of power to become stronger by themselves. Strength without anything gained. These individuals will slowly be, be set upon by, by dreams, and uh, you remember some of the various dreams that you've had where uh, these spirits will serve you in some c c capacity, and uh, the whispers of Grumsh uh, pushing you forward to just kill, maim, and slaughter um, unrelentingly. Until at some point, the groom's blood, whether they realize it or not, will just become another tool, another pawn in Groomsh's eternal war game. But if there is a spirit shaman to guide the groom's blood to seek out the original clans that me and my brothers used to lead, then that groom's blood <clears throat> and obviously pass the tests and trials uh, set out by other shamans, then that groom's blood can wield powers most mortals, if not mortal orcs, could ever wield on, on the, the, their own. They could become a messiah to, to, to their people, to bring about great change to the orc culture, for better or worse. Well, if I beat this dragon, we can. I can own land. That might be new. Hmm. Well, slaying a a, a dragon is uh, most important on any world. <clears throat> but what does? What do you want to do with this power? Whatever it may be, it may be. Right now, adventuring with my group is fun. I mean, we don't fly into a rage and kill everyone in sight, but... We get attacked a lot. So, I, I, it doesn't really interest me in killing everyone. Hmm. Some of my brothers may have something <clears throat> to say about that, but I am not my, my brothers. I did not start as a war god, and most of them, the same can, can be said, well, although some of my br brothers have a yearning for wanton slaughter. Nah. <laughs> uh, you watch as uh, the Stone piercer root, uh, originally uh, a little bit asymmetrical, <coughs> a little uh, gnarled in, in places, uh, becomes uh, almost like a smooth, uh, curved uh, rod of some sort. Is it also made of metal? Uh, it is not made of, of, <laughs> of, of metal. Um, and uh, you watch as uh, Il Nival has made a, a few sections of. Uh, of uh, silken string and is now in the process of uh, weaving them uh, together into a, a single cord. Um, and uh, you've no you notice that uh, even though uh, there was only like a little bit of blood on that arrowhead, it seems to persist and a little bit of yours and his blood seems to be getting on uh, just like a little trace flex uh, amounts is uh, spreading across this uh, this piece of wood that you've been working on. Am I losing a lot of blood? Uh, your hand has stopped bleeding. <laughs> Where is it coming from? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a cookie now because you gave blood today. <laughs> Here, have some more juice. <laughs> 
I feel a little woozy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I only have a base intelligence. <laughs> you say that you travel with companions. Would you have been able to complete these challenges by your lonesome? No, probably not. So you seek, so you rely on your companions, and they you? Oh yeah, they can, they can do things I can. I can definitely do things that they can. <laughs> but together you accomplish your goals, whatever they may be. Yes. Strong leadership qualities. Just don't take them for, for, for granted. That the qualities or your companions. They keep a groom's blood grounded. Keeps them from getting a little too full of themselves. And uh, you watch as uh, he shows you a vision of a orc that tried to um, receive his uh, Ilna Nabal's blessing, you're not exactly sure when, but you recognize the figure. This is a younger Bruno, the, the stabber. Ugh, that jerk. Uh, Bruno, um, you see that uh, he shows up to the, uh, to the bears and he just <clears throat> slaughters them mercilessly. And he just rips out the the stone root with his bare hands. Um, with his bare hands or their bare hands? <laughs> uh, uh, both. Uh, he 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 turns he turns the the bare hands into gloves and and, and rips it out. Look when you softball men like that. What a tyrant! Uh, uh, he then uh, stuffs one of the um, uh, he stuffs all three of the bears with uh, like an explosive powder keg and rolls their dead bodies to the uh, spiders and they all converge on them and then he just shoots one of them with a fire arrow and they all just explode into nothing. Gross. Weirdly effective, but gross. Um, and uh, he doesn't even bother with the, with the troll because it was optional. Oh. Coward. <laughs> And, uh, Wait, how did you, did you make him do the thing? Did he have to do it with his teeth? He did not. Uh, you watch as uh, he shows you a vision of uh, Bruno here in this space with uh, these blood-soaked uh, tributes to Ilnaval. And uh, uh, you see the, the deific figure speak to him. You seek power absolute, and one day you may have it, and yet you will still be the weakest of, of your kind. Boy, and Bruno did not take that lightly, and he was denied a blessing, and went on to become one of the Blackhearts, made his way up to, like, a bandit captain and used his uh, abilities to uh, protect himself from harm while he inflicts harm on, on others. Weird guy. Think he was flirting with me? <laughs> I, no. Yeah, I, I couldn't get a, get like a, a good <laughs> vibe on, on, that, on that one. So he did not receive my, my, my blessings. He would have used them selfishly, which... Well, he was using a lot of things selfishly. <laughs> Some of my breath of my brethren would have liked him. I did not. Well, hopefully they won't be too upset then. He's dead now. And what did you gain from his death? Well, a completed quest. Uh, he's not. He's not hurting. Uh, he's not stabbing people anymore and turning them lobotomized. But what did you receive from his death? Oh, that's right. I got a thing. Just me pull up a character sheet. <laughs> what did I get out of that? Oh, you, you pull up a character sheet, but then you're like, I can't read it. <laughs> I'm, on, in, I'm in a dream, I can't hey, read. He can barely read. He gave, he gave me notes on this. <laughs> Shit, I can't read. <laughs> I only have an intelligence of six. <laughs> I'm average, I got ten. <laughs> I can't read them. Oh, no excuses. 
Well, when I've, I received the ability to keep swinging, that's, bas that's basically the aft of this ability. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> Just keep swinging. Just keep. Um, one of the <clears throat> hazards of a, a groom's blood is that when they clash and one fells the other, a groom's blood may absorb the powers and abilities of the other, including their blessings. Wait, they got a blessing for who? Um, you killed uh, Br Bruno. No, so I killed Bruno, but who did he get his blessing from? It's not what I'm asking him. Ah. Certain, well, gr the powers of a groom's blood originally can ma can manifest in <clears throat> many different ways. For you, it did uh, it manifests as the spirits who will, and on some subconscious level, you have de de decided that these spirits will be used to aid your comrades, and that, mechanically speaking, that is what they they, they do. They take damage uh, uh, instead of your allies. Uh, they draw uh, an enemy's attention and focus to you. Um, For Bruno, he wanted to manifest protection for himself, and not for those he cared about, because all he cared about was himself. He could never wield your strength unless he killed you. And you must have gained something from him. He did kill a lot of his own allies. I believe the Blackheart's name rings true for what they are even amongst each other. They might have lower intelligence than we do. They have lower lobotomized, so... Um, at this point, you watch as, uh... As, uh, like, subconsciously, you've been carving away at, at this root, uh, not really paying attention or really understanding what shape you're trying to make, but, uh, after a while, um... Uh, like you, you snap back in, in, into to focus, and you realize what you're you're making, uh, and with uh, Il Nival finished uh, with the uh, the silk, uh, it, the silk turns into uh, threads, threads into cords, and uh, this cord has uh, two little circular. Uh, are we, uh, making a, hooks. are we making a guitar because we're on the metal plane? <laughs> I believe it's called a lute, but no. <laughs> um, uh, the stone pier 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 piercer root has now uh, been carved into a six foot long curved, uh, it has a slight curve to, to, to it with a couple notches at the, the v v v very end. Uh, Il N N Naval takes the string and uh, he makes uh, both of you with the items that you pr pr procured make a longbow. Oh wait, no, I'm a barbarian. Proficient with every weapon. You are <laughs> proficient with every weapon. <laughs> Blessing or no, that you at the, at the very least were uh, re received this, and uh, go ahead and add uh, Longbow of Giant Slaying to your inventory. Just make sure you don't point it at Shima. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only half the size, <laughs> Half giant? <laughs> a weapon fit for a for a member of the hill renders renowned far and wide for the slaying of hill giants yeah you got it yes all right before i make my final decision on whether or not to bestow upon you my uh, my blessing. I will tell you of my other brothers and where their shrines can be held. 
and found. It sounds like they're going to be more aggressive. Well, Grooms wants us to be aggressive. It is how we were made. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> he does not say do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> He also pulls up his character sheet. I know yeah. I have the speech here somewhere. He pulls up like a Rolodex. Your relative seems pretty chill, all things considered. <laughs> yeah, he pulls out a pair of glasses. Hold on a second. I'm gonna... It's been a while since we've gotten this part of the conversation. <clears throat> Would you like a cookie for donating, boy? No. <laughs> My brother Shargas, the Night Lord, Blade in the Darkness, the Stalker. Below. Stalker alert. His tribe was known as the Night Stalkers, but they have now, over the centuries, have transformed into the Ice Pelts. The Ice Pelt Clan. They reside in Yeesburg. How do we spell that again? Uh, Yeesburg? Yeah. Y E E S apostrophe B E R G. Was this out in Salik's territory? Uh, yeah. more or less, yeah. <clears throat> hmm? I think it's off the map, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's somewhere. It's another, uh, we have another map of it around here somewhere. Place. Yeah, there is a map of Yeastburg somewhere. Uh, we should get, we should get another set of printouts, just have a binder of them. <laughs> yeah, there's like a map binder. Was it one of your hand drawn maps? Uh, no, no I, 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 made a, it was, I made a real one. It was generated like uh, this. It was like a giant ice cap thing. One of us has it. Pile. Back to the pile. Oh, I don't. Uh, my, it wasn't as big as the normal map. It was just a normal uh, eight and a half by eleven. Looking for maps. Continue. Yeah, carry on. My brother Yurtis, the white-handed, the lord of maggots, the rotting lord. Disgusting. I bet he would get along. With, <laughs> I bet he would get along with Vaxus and his bugs. Uh, Yurdis. <laughs> oh, just Y U R T R U S. Yurtris. That'd be horrible. We need some handsome enemies. Y U R T R U S. T R U S. I just see where the well is. And he's called the Maggot God. Oh no, he's Lord of Maggots, the Rock. We find a sucky bus for once. <laughs> Keep it up, and we try. If we go to dinner, you might get your wish. You never know. Well, <laughs> yeah. not the furries. Well, just Here. Not, not everyone there is furries. Okay. <laughs> that should be our project. There's we should, like, eat, we should like each buy a, a, a sucky bus mini, paint it, and then. <laughs> and then. Then we, <laughs> then we <laughs> fight <laughs> it. Come on now. <laughs> okay. He raised, his clan was known as the Grimbringers, but over the years they evolved into what is now known as the Sand Spheres. They reside on the on your continent of Dender. Spheres or spears? Spears. The weapon. The weapon. Sorry, it's hard to hear with this vibration. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like the vacuum's Forever. going. <laughs> <laughs> who's a uh, who's orc mom? Luthic. Luthic. She's just in the she's just in the background constantly vacuuming. <laughs> <laughs> can you? Can, <sighs> mom, I'm trying to level somebody up here. <laughs> Stop vacuuming. I have kissed them. Wow, the meatloaf. <laughs> and finally, Bok True. I'm, I'm all powerful, you can't interrupt me. <laughs> the leg breaker. The straw. The fist of Groom. Said Bog True. Uh Bog True. B A H G T R U. Bog True. I'm I'm sure I'm butchering this. Wizards of the Coast. Make make your orc names better. <laughs> said B O what? No, that's how they're named. Uh B A T R G T R U. <clears throat> Jerry, no! <laughs> His clan was known as the Bone Breakers. Oh. 
and slowly uh, transformed into what is now known as the Mountain Breakers. They reside not that far from where your clan now re resides. Yeah, it could be up there. I hear the lands are quite treacherous. Is that our Arcala? Uh, yes. Where was the, where was the place so again? He, says, uh, he said close to mine, but I don't think he said a location. No, I didn't. Do, 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 do. Mountain Arcala. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, somewhere in the Cadran Mountains surrounding Multan. Zoltan. Zoltan. Oh, okay. Wait, what was the name of the mountains? Uh, the Cadran. I can see it still on there. Yeah, we only have a dog on. There's Zoltan. Where's Cadran? Did I miss, uh, label my own mountains? Above Zoltan, I have Delona. Yeah, Delona goes across the whole top. Rocks. Huh, I guess I, I guess I, uh... <laughs> that's the old name. That's the old <laughs> name. From the, 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 ball day. <laughs> the Delana Mountain Range. Whoops, so fate. That's <laughs> old lore. But by Molten. That's what it's called in Orcish. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called in Orcish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the translator was what? <laughs> Sorry, let me get let, let me get that for you. <laughs> nice, nice save, John. Bordor. <laughs> Bordor. <clears throat> Is Delona the whole way across the north? Uh, Is there whole... Delona here and Delona here? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the whole... Good, yeah, good, good. So we have a snake. Good, so we have a range. <laughs> yeah, east to west. Oh, Dolcana. Wait, is it Dolcana or Dolana? There are two O's. There's a C on this one. There's a C on that one? On the old one. <laughs> Yeah. Where's the same Dolcana? Oh, on the little one. And the small oh, one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> That's the old, old version. Yeah. <laughs> Dolona. That's you can old. see the different translation through the ages. <laughs> Over like the past three years. <laughs> we don't want to talk about what Vesticle used to be called. <laughs> Vesticle. <laughs> what the. F <laughs> <laughs> the they, holy city. They specifically, they specifically make fests. Right? Yeah, when, right. I when I talked about renaming every city to make it sound funnier, that was a, a, a easy one. You're the <laughs> reason why the the lore changes. <laughs> they all know. Like, he just sneaks into like cerulean troves and just like you know, erases stuff and rewrites it. I believe it. It all, it all started with canon. <laughs> it all started with Wangdale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me how, but it's canon. <laughs> Shima might even start doing it eventually. Where's all my bubble wrap? Your bad influence, Maxis. <laughs> my work here is done. It's really weird because you're not stealthy at all. <laughs> these are the, these are where the other totems re reside, and you will. And if you wish to continue this journey, you will have to speak to the various shamans of these tribes, learn the histories of the of my brethren, and complete their ch challenges, S similar to mine. I stress that the idea of being a groom's blood is not a sought-after position for those who know its true malcomations. The last groom, the first few groom's blood would bring great change to the orc people, and I mean that in a very literal sense. When we were first created, we were just angry, mindless brutes under the heel and whim of of Grumsh. and the first groom's blood decided that we could be better. And they gave us the gift of intelligence. And we were able to recognize the world around us for more than what it, it was. And we were able to make our own choices. Eventually, we gained the gift of wisdom and clear-headedness. 
some gave us the ability to strengthen our, ourselves against against mighty um, attacks. Uh, go ahead and make an insight check, and I'll say that this could be at advantage. I'm on my notes page again. That's okay. You add zero to this, right? No, yeah, zero. He's got a, a helm of cheatery. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's based off of wisdom, so maybe I was looking at the wrong one last time, so, because I got that uh, band around my head. Yeah. So, Cheater. unnatural 20. <laughs> oh, no, no, the, the nature's the one that I have the zero. Ah, That's right. What it was. Unnatural to 20. Uh, so this is a little bit, a, a little bit of like orc lore and a little bit of like metagame not knowledge uh, as well. Um, orcs from addition to addition uh, uh, has changed drastically, um, and this could be uh, given to uh, this could be uh, uh, attributed to uh, the changes, uh, great and bad, that uh, and. A groom's blood can give to the orc pe pe people. Um, in older e e editions, uh, um, orcs had uh, negatives to uh, intelligence and, and wisdom. Um, then came a groom's blood, and it was like, nah, make them smarter, and they and they they, they were. Some uh, have a relentless uh, in endurance. Uh, some, uh, some have uh, shorter and longer uh, lifespans. Um, some uh, have the capability to break free from uh, Grumsh's uh, control and lead a life of their cho cho choosing. Like, these are the types of great and terrible gifts that a Grumsh blood can potentially uh, give to the orc people. It's a lot of responsibility. And uh, Cold Cross, I guess, in this moment, um, realizing the amount and the weight of the change that Cold Cross could have, not just on himself, and not just on like a like I can teach my people to be better, so, so sort of way, or I can lead them into this idea. What would Cold Cross want to bring about some sort of physical? mechanical change to uh, the orcs of his tribe, of all tribes. I don't know how it would work mechanically, but after battling the, uh, the Void Mind, all these other entities, learning of Vecna, kind of learning that Grooch wants nothing but want and slaughter, maybe uh, protection from help the clan and orc people of, of this barbarian nature to uh, become protectors against those. I don't know what that would translate to mechanic-wise, but maybe more constitution. <laughs> there is... There is something about uncertainty once a question of this magnitude is posed. That being said, I am intrigued by what sort of changes you can bring to the entire world. Blessings or no, I want to see what Kolkaras of the Hillrenders can do for the world of Terra. I believe I will give you one, a, a blessing of mine. But you may choose its form. Oh. I didn't know there was a multiple choice quiz. There is. <laughs> it's not a quiz, per se. <laughs> he takes off his coat, there's a lab assistant coat, let's go. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, Door number one. <laughs> Two uh, gigantic m m m metallic arches just spawn out of no 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 nowhere. And in door number one, no, <laughs> that does one not happen. That's just the girl talk talking. Two of two of these doors 
has your has has your uh, boom one as a goat. No. <laughs> Which door is screaming? <laughs> you know my history. You know that I started as a forest dwelling orc. That I had the ability to parlay with the animals and beasts around me. After Grooms found me, I was elevated to my status now. And thus I am bestowed upon the n- knowledge of every se- every conceivable battle t- tactic that any orc has developed or learned on any realm. Which gift would you pr- prefer? That of a protector of nature or a master of war? Would I be able to talk to animals? I will not tell you. (laughs) I really wanted to talk to the Phillips. Not fair, Oron is the only one. <laughs> I think he's I think he's messing with us about those jokes. So we can talk to him too. I think I'll go with the uh, protecting nature. He nods. Oh, it also that also includes other creatures, not just forest animals. Very well. And uh, you watch as uh, in his right hand uh, manifests a uh, this weird green energy that grows almost like vines and and br- 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 brambles, and he just p- pushes it into your body, and you feel like this sharp, almost like a physical sharp pain of something stabbing you in the chest, and. Something is like growing and taking root inside of you, pushing through all of your organs and stuff and uh, just filling you from the inside uh, out. Just that scotch felt like. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Ben. <laughs> Go home and talk to your dog. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I suffered through it, but uh, I'll be okay with getting any more. I, I still got a little bit left. <laughs> I had fun. Hey, more for you. I had fun. <laughs> it, t- it took it took a while, but I started to enjoy it more as it went on. So it's an age thing. Cause he's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck on your journey. Full <laughs> cross of the hill renders, <laughs> and and uh, he's as talking to people about get the hell out of here. <laughs> and as, and uh, he he removes his hand from your, your chest, and then he pushes you once more, and then you take like two steps back, and then you find yourself in that uh, in that cave. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like right next to him. What the hell? He says he says hurry up, kid. There's a line behind you. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's wait, and they're just like. Come on. They're, they're waiting with their... <laughs> with their gifts. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Like, is my turn next? I mean, technically it could be, because he did just say that there were other realms with other works and other... It's like an MMO. They got all these people going in and out doing this totally personal quest. <laughs> yeah. These people have been queued up for a while now. You gotta hurry. You see one person in their tidy whities like, run around in a circle and stuff? <laughs> Like all MMOs. While this is going on, uh, the rest of, of, of the fist are uh, on this uh, this high elevated uh, mountainside. Um, there's a, there's enough of a uh, flat ground for you guys to uh, sit and chill on, and you guys have this lovely view of the training va- the, the valleys of the Wild Gallop uh, Garrison. Way off in, in the distance, you see like this thin line of blue that could potentially be the the ocean um uh and this is a gorgeous view of the sun setting because that was when you guys had arrived around here uh i will say uh during this uh, exchange you can get the benefits of a short rest should you choose is there anything you would like to do in this time is uh cool cross back or did he go off somewhere then disappear. He, you watched him. Uh, you, like you saw where the statue 
of this uh, this black totem is that is at the entrance of this cave mouth, and you watched him walk in okay. and disappear from from view. Okay. And uh, all of the the while, uh, Rarn is here too. He's just uh, he's like close to the edge of of the cliff, and he's just watching over the forest this whole time. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, do you guys um, discuss anything or do you guys just wait? So, do you guys have any plans for after this, whenever Cool Cross leaves the creepy secret cave thing? The necromancy tower was the one that intrigued me. That was a two star one, so. Oh, more creepy. Yes. How swell. I don't think more money and right gets us closer right. to fighting a dragon. <clears throat> We're going to start getting quite a workout carrying around all of this gold on us. Yes. I didn't say that too loud, did I? <laughs> the shop and stop, stop looking out. If I imagine twice as big as you. I don't know what gold you're talking about. <clears throat> I didn't know it was a competition. All it would be my guess. That's why you're losing the competition. <laughs> if you weren't a target before, you would shortly be one. But go right ahead. <laughs> What about you, Shima? You've been awfully quiet lately. About plans, you mean? Sure. Uh, Anything that comes to mind. I mean, obviously I've got a whole country to help. I haven't been there in years, so... I don't know what it's like now. Well, maybe we could do something about that. And maybe we could stop by my home. Maybe there's some information there. Maybe some people we could talk to that could help before we make any big decisions for saving your entire country. That sounds like a lot of work out loud, doesn't it? <laughs> sounds exciting. Yeah, I mean, we just gotta kill a king, I guess. Well, we gotta find It's just one guy, right? And maybe a bunch of devil, demon people, whatever. Well, when you say it like that, it should be easy. But again, it's been a bunch of years. I don't know what's going on there now. Do you have any intel about Denda, Orlin, or are we all in the dock? Not really, but we do have to take alternate means of travel to get there, right? We can't teleport. You can't convince the Jeffries just to run really fast. <laughs> um, anyone Did we hear anything about, like, teleport was cut off from uh, the Anyone, uh, any of you three would like to make a history check uh, on what you what you currently know about D Dender's situation in the short term? Is that a history check? Uh, yeah. Got a 13. Should I roll an advantage because I'm from there? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, I actually uh, explicitly have a note, can't teleport to Dender. Oh. Well, that answers my question. <laughs> I rolled a natural 20. Yeah. That's better than my nine. Oh, uh, you're <laughs> still, um, oh, you still have a, a, a point of a, a exhaustion. Uh, uh right. still nine. Still nine? <laughs> still nine. <laughs> okay. Um, you're right. No, you're, you're right. You're right. Uh, yes, uh, definitively you have been told that, uh, various, uh, individuals have attempted to, uh, teleport to Dender, and it just doesn't go through. It's not like they teleport and are lost, it's just the teleport doesn't take place. Um, uh, Shima has also tried to, in, like, a, this weird lucid space with the, um, uh, the Voyager staff has attempted to scry on Dender with no effect I, I, I either. Voyager staff can't scry. Um, it, it, it can't, but this is a weird space. Um, attempting to pierce the veil of, of whatever is going on in Dender seems to halt um, scrying and teleportation. That being said, you are aware that uh, the Blackhearts have been able to go to Dender and buy Dender slaves and bring them back to Ar Arcala in some way. Yeah. So, wasn't there something with the incursion that was from Arcala too? 
Um, in or like a gender, some, some ingredient or something. I don't remember what it was. There was some shipment of uh, fish or something that was not kosher. Uh, like that, that fish was unrelated. Um, yeah, okay. that was uh, there, there was, uh, there's also a shop in Devil's Reach that yeah. sells uh, materials from Dender that no one that can, like unless unless these uh, materials came from the Feywild, which is a possibility, um, there's a, a strong possibility that this shop got their uh, goods from Dender, and that's kind of sus. So there is some form of trade and transportation going on between Terra and uh, between Arcala and, and Dender, uh, and it seems to be happening mostly in Devil's Reach. So, uh, what those exact forms are, you're not 100% on, but it is uh, worth it in, in inquiring. If we uh, Should you go there? If we do visit my home, I'm sure I can point you in the right direction if you need more information, Shima. Well, we also heard about um, the Magrush one. Magrush. Yeah, 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 having. Isn't that the stuff you. Oh, okay, I won't say any more than that. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Jeffreys. They have that stuff. I don't yes, know. the Jeffreys are the one with the sticky hooves. Yeah. Where are they at? Are they Baldor still? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they left, though. I, I, like how we I don't remember where they left on Baldor because we teleported out of there. Yep. Yeah, I think it was. Because we, we were just like, watch our teleported. horses, bye! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you guys have been unconscious for a number of weeks at the, the Wild Gallop Garrison. <laughs> the um, Jeffries are sitting like, well, they are dead. <laughs> They're running a very successful warehouse business. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they have a they have a new um, box box show called Horsin' Around. <laughs> they, took, they took up smoking too, so I'm only seeing them. <laughs> <laughs> well, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> <coughs> they, they all start talking like Mr. Ed, like. <laughs> So I guess what? We solve this hemisphere's problems and then we go pay Devil's Reach a visit, am I right? I mean... Or Mary. Yeah, Mary. Yeah, Magrush. Yeah, if we did Magrush, that put us in the middle of the continent. So closer to Devil's Reach. And that was a two-star one. And Magrush is right there. Yeah. Well, you could teleport us there, couldn't you, Shima? I mean, we got here in one piece, mostly. I mean, yeah, of course I can, but if we, if something goes wrong, I don't know who's gonna wake us up Well, there. we're familiar with Baldor a little bit, so we'd have a better chance there. We yeah, we could go there, get the Jeffreys and then travel yes. by Jeffrey. Because, <laughs> yeah, Baldor is there, we could just take the road down this way. It is actually pretty close. Look at this. What's this one there? Something key. Okay. Yeah, we should go. We can go teleport back to Baldor. If we if we die, someone there could revive us. Now <laughs> that's not very sh Shima. You don't say I those things if, out loud. <laughs> if, <laughs> it makes me just want to walk now. You've already died once, you're fine. Who of us, like, passed out when we teleported? Was it, was it me and you? Uh, everyone passed out after I still the had teleportation. <laughs> uh, after the t t t teleportation. Uh, however... But I mean, um, no one, I mean, who got to, like, the one hit point or whatever? That's what I mean. Because you. Ev everyone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, with the amount of catastrophic fit, fit failures that had happened even if Colcross raged um it, it would have been enough to knock everyone uh effectively you you all should actually be dead 
but I am not that kind of a DM. Instead, uh, afterwards, uh, you guys were found by uh, a n nearby p p patrols, and you did because you did send a message out like, "Hey, we're on our, our way." Um, while you guys were re recovering, however, you did have that mo moment of uh, of like dreaming with the Vo Vo Voyager staff, and you know that from now on, the Voyager staff will only, mechanically speaking. You'll have, if you have a catastrophic uh, f f failure or mishap, it'll only happen once. Like, they're not going to stack. Uh, so we'll only die one more time. <laughs> okay, that's what I learned. <laughs> I know you don't like to we'll listen to me, Shima, fine. but I could teach you a thing or two about confidence and maybe keeping that, <laughs> like, very death and despair information to yourself because I, it kind of brings down the mood, don't I, you think? I'm confident that we only might... Pass out. Like, I'm coming, I will kill you. All right. <laughs> it's a work in progress, but it's a start. Maxis passes out most nights. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Slightly you, different, you, but yes, you are correct. So you just gotta get really drunk, and then we tell the part. That does yeah, not make it better. Maybe it might make it better. You don't know. Have you drunk in teleport before? <laughs> Should we just camp here tonight and then teleport to uh, Baldur in the morning? Mr. Jeffries, we should. Well, you wanted to visit these necromancers or something, right? Yes, but if we have more pressing issues. What? What necromancers? The necromancy tower. Oh, oh, okay. With their tower. basement problems. Uh, I wrote down. If we can down, clean it up in like a day or two. That's I wrote good. down that the necromancy tower is an automaton that perma kills us. Yeah. So. <laughs> But there's another automaton that won't perma kill us <laughs> in Mag Rush. What if we got that automaton to fight the other one? <laughs> I mean, yeah, what if you voided away. your snap okay, that we, automaton? We, we go pick up the Jeffries in the cart. Uh, we put the automaton in the Check cart. And okay. then we cart it oh, I might have to reload into them. the other automaton. See, now this is why we keep you around, <laughs> Shima. We need this thing smart and not hard a type of deal. This is why we need the Jeffries back. They're so useful. I'm sure they miss us a lot too. Which one's Jeffrey and which one's Jeffrey? I forget. The, one on the, the left, left one Jeffrey. is Jeffrey and the right one is Jeffrey. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> Obviously. You fool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while you guys are uh, deciding your next course of action, um, having a snack, uh, having a, a, a snack, um, uh, resting up. Uh, out from the uh, cave mouth, uh, Saunders, um, uh, you see a uh, sort of, uh, I, I guess, uh, Co -co Copros. What's your state of mind uh, coming out of the cave uh, with this uh, with this new uh, bow in hand? Oh my God! Hold on, I have to read the thing. I don't know how it's affected me. Okay. <laughs> Are you evil? Always. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Is it taller than you are? It's at six foot, right? Well, it's six foot when it's not curved. Oh, yeah, that's right. So it's probably like five and a hey, half. Hey. Everyone's a bragger. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. Say something only Cool Cross would say. Which way does her bow curve? <laughs> wait, wait, what did you say? Does your. <laughs> Which way does your Say something only cool girls would say. Which way does your bow curve? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I believe it. It's it. That was so, so stupid. So, do you shoulder your bow on the left or the right? <laughs> oh, gosh. He is back. Uh, anything you need to talk about? Get off your chest. Want some rations? <laughs> want, want some soup? <laughs> Out here snacking. Talk about the Jeffries. You missed the Jeffries? I missed the Jeffries. God, it wasn't that much. It was only two paragraphs. I even, I'm a slow reader. Plus, it, it said you can choose one of these, but it only gives me one. Um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta go out and get more. Oh no, it says when you do this, choose to act. Oh, I activate this. There, I was like, say choose to activate. I thought it was an either or method. I'm like, where's the other? 
Did you always have that bow with you, Cool Cross? Bow? Why did you steal that, too? No, it was given to me. Did you have to fight somebody? Did you have to fight your god for that? My notes some, for some reason shifted around and now it's opening the wrong one. <laughs> you see me clicking on this one, right? So are you wise and all powerful now or what's what's the deal? No, it was a gift. Do you have divine intervention? No, was he? No. <laughs> He's not Brutus. <laughs> we have many questions that need answers. You you was have to listen. No. Many, many questions. This bow was given to me by Indival. Like, how tall are you? <laughs> oh, was I tall? Were we the same height? Yeah. Uh, uh, how, tall are, how tall is uh, Cole Cross? I think six foot. He's taller. You're he like six inches. Taller than Il Naval, you mean? I don't know what. Uh, <laughs> Il Naval is taller than Cole Cross. Oh. Il Naval stands. I don't know, five, six. Yeah, Il, Il Naval stands at about uh, seven. Seven. I mean, he's a guy. I don't know if he's taller, so. So a third of a sheen left. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that going to be our new unit of measurement on like our column? <laughs> that keeps getting bigger. No, it's, it's always been the unit of measurement. The there's been, there's been many a discussion about the accurate measurement of one unit of a shima. <laughs> the continent of our Kakala is three and a half shishimas wide. <laughs> How tall is this being? <laughs> Only if the tail's tucked to the. <laughs> so it's safe to say you completed your mission, Cool Grass. It's good news, I passed. Unlike that jerk what? that was here before. What jerk? I scattered the some one that we, the like one that I murdered. beef jerky rations, like uh, well, quite a like few confetti. people. Yeah, that's that's not <laughs> specific. A bunch of birds show up to uh, <laughs> to, to to eat at the, uh, the, the the free rations. No, that's that cold cross is snack. <laughs> you guys remember Brutus, that weirdo, the stabber? Oh yes, that, that one. Band, the band that, that, <laughs> that weirdo. <laughs> The ones with the one with more muscles than brains, even though that's not specific either. It's like most of us here. <laughs> Except uh, for me. Rarn uh, turn, tur turns around. Congratulations. And yes, uh, Bruno uh, did come here se seeking a blessing, though he was selfish and uh, cruel in his uh, approach and was denied by Il N N Naval. Hashtag not was. <laughs> Indeed. Did, did he tell you that or you guys talk? Everyone's gone. We figured. I, <laughs> it's assumed. He came out in a huff. In he still had he still had his uh his um uh, his trinkets with him, his his offerings. Um, <laughs> it's really it's, in the off season it's really just him and, and them all sitting in there playing checkers. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for somebody. Gin rummy. Has <laughs> anybody other than Cole Cress and Bruno been in here? Under your watch? Under my watch, yes. At least two others <clears throat> in the past two, two and a half decades. You still gotta watch out for Stranger Danger. So one per decade? You're part of an exclusive club, club cool cross. Congratulations! Oh, and apparently I learned that I, after killing Brutus, I gained something too. Yes, that one really wasn't described to me. <laughs> well, okay. I was, I was just informed of it. You were informed you gained something, but not informed what it was. I was given a vague idea. I think I've got to figure it out. Because I haven't actually used it in combat. <laughs> yeah, you, you you used it once. Uh, and that's how you kill Br 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 Brutus to be be begin with. Bruno? Uh, you... Yeah. What? No, Bruno. Bruno. Is it Bruno? Bruno. Okay. Yeah, Br we yeah, yeah he, someone Bruno said Br 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 Brutus, and I, I, I thought, I was like, that's not right. And then it, it, it was Bruce something else. I was like, about to start calling him something else to see if it would catch on. <laughs> Baker, yeah. He beat Bruce up Baker, the stabber. <laughs> um, yeah, you killed Bruno 
uh, by utilizing like this last Hail Mary uh, of ability from uh, I guess the spirits of your an 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 ancestors think. siphoning off a little bit of, of uh, whatever Bruno's uh, abilities were and in that moment um, like that new power is how you defeated him and that's the power you gain from it, it, it's it's that the, the weird thing of like did you get the power because you de de defeated him or because it, because the power knew that that you were it's 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 un, it's like a snake eating its whole its own tail uh, scenario it was a very confusing endeavor another plane a lot of metal visions this is what that tree root made and the spider silk I think I can murder any giant I want to now. I don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> the world is at your fingertips, cool press. We're discussing what to do next. On the table is options for going to the necromancy tower and fighting the creature down in their basement, or going to Magrash and doing some more mine expeditions. Well, it seems that you have uh, some things to d d discuss amongst y y yourselves. Uh, why don't we take this uh, venue to uh, something a little more ho hospitable? Uh, the, uh, the Quick, everyone on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, uh, you guys uh, get back on the, the rope. Uh, you guys fly back to... Uh, Can like... we just take the rope to Magpie? <laughs> <laughs> just float through the air? Yeah, we're... We just the hallway. <laughs> Mommy, look at the flying people. <laughs> Don't look at them. <laughs> We're going to have to fashion like, little chairs on the rope and stuff and get really comfortable. Just tie the rope to a wagon and just... It's like a ski lift just going across the ski. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the Jeffrey's in the cart are at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, we just, we, just, we just tied the Jeffries to the ropes, too, so they're just <laughs> floating through the, the Jeffries. Yeah, <laughs> why don't you take the, why don't you have the horses take you? Nah, too the, easy. The <laughs> break too, so have you ever seen a horse swim through the sky? <laughs> <laughs> That's not real. Hold on a bit. <laughs> um, as the fist uh, soar through... In various <clears throat> ways, uh, through the skies of the Wild Galaxy Garrison, the sun uh, s setting at, uh, on the surrounding area, the illuminating the valleys and trees and hills and, and mountains with this uh, beautiful orange and yellow glow of the setting sun. Uh, you see your destination, the Wild Gallop Garrison, to partake in... Uh, revelry and food and uh, discussing what to do next. And that's where we're at. we are going to take a quick break. So uh, enjoy these announcements and we'll be back shortly. We interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast program to bring you these interdimensional announcements from the Underground Initiative. We would like to offer our thanks to the people and organizations that help make the Underground Initiative what it is today. Some of the music you are hearing in the background comes courtesy of Midnight Syndicate. These horror music pioneers can be found on Spotify, iTunes, Ask Alexa for Midnight Syndicate, or at their website at midnightsyndicate.com. A big thank you to the one, the only, Kevin McLeod. Check out the amazing works of Kevin McLeod, a full-time composer who has published over 2,000 works of musical genius, most of which he's made available for others to use using the Creative Commons by Attribution 3.0 license. His work can be viewed on YouTube and IncompTech.com. Thank you, Irutan, for letting us use your music. This amazing savant of Celtic and medieval melodies can be found on YouTube and irutanmusic.com. 
We would also like to thank Blizzard Entertainment, CD Projekt Red, and Bethesda for having such iconic and impactful music, as well as allowing for fans to utilize said content in productions like these. Please keep in mind that this is all fan-generated content and is not sponsored or endorsed by Blizzard Entertainment, CD Projekt Red, or Bethesda. We just really enjoy their content. A big shout out to Derek and Brandon Feitcher. Their amazing compositions can be found on YouTube under Fantasy and World Music by the Feitchers, as well as iTunes, Bandcamp, Amazon, and Spotify. Go check them out. Stringstorm does music, voice acting, sound effects, and more. There's a lot of creative symphonic metal music on their YouTube channel, and most, if not all, of their songs can be purchased at store.stringstorm.info. Various artists and animators were vital in bringing the Underground Initiative to life. We would like to thank Edvartico, who can be found at twitter.com slash Edvartico. Sunzaki Kojika. Check out her artwork and content at twitch.tv slash Sanzaki Kojika and CJ Emmanuel II. Thank you very much and enjoy the show. We have returned. So. The Fists have made it back to the Wild Gallop Garrison. Um. There, uh, even this late at, at night, there are still plenty of uh, regiments of soldiers uh, and trainees being uh, just like worked to death. Uh, even this, uh, you know, in the late late hours of the the e- evening. Um, but uh, you are brought back to the uh, Bootswill Alehouse, and uh, there is a. Less of a less of a banquet and more of just like three or four t- tables put to to together uh, with it's a kids um, party, kind of um, uh, with a number of uh, orcs and uh, dragonborn. Uh, Nasad is there. Uh, Rarn is there along with the other shamans, and uh, this is all sort of like a celebratory di- dinner for uh, for Colcross uh, the Groom's Blood. Uh, even though only a few of these people actually know of the Groom's Blood's uh, I- I- existence. Trust them. Yeah, food! Uh, everyone else is like, yeah, yay, food. Um, Dinner party. Uh, and uh, the the fists, uh, because um, <coughs> this, uh, the trials could not have been uh, completed uh, alone, and uh, this victory is just as much as yours as it is his. And, um, uh, Lovely food is shared amongst you. Uh, the food itself, you, you, at first you think it's a bunch of crab legs. Uh, it's actually uh, cooked and grilled uh, uh, giant phase spiderling legs. Uh, these are some of the parts that were harvested uh, earlier this day. Well, good luck go to waste. Ah. <laughs> uh, they taste great. Um, everyone is uh, having a, a, a fun time. Some butter or something. The face spider in the window. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Can't watch it. Nasad shows up uh, it, it, every now and then to, to challenge a whole Orlin to like a, a arm wrestling or, <laughs> or some shit. Um, uh, what does a uh, and um, while this is go going on, um, you ha- you guys have some uh, like a a moment to, to your, your yourself after like uh, everyone comes around and say hey good job I, I i was spying on you guys uh it's not weird don't make it weird um but uh <laughs> yeah you guys did a good job out, out, out there great uh these are some of the spies these are some of the dragonborn spies that were like keeping an eye on you to make sure you guys didn't die during this uh these trials oh, so that's about them though uh, it was you. Yeah. You were the one yeah. who spotted them. Yeah, I think you But uh, uh, after that happens, um, uh, you guys uh, have the table uh, pretty much to your, yourself after um, uh, the rest of, of uh, everyone else uh, is still there, but they're chit chatting amongst themselves because uh, whatever it is, whatever happens with you guys is very different from what their their lives are c- currently here and they still have things to do for the rest of their weeks and months or possibly years here 
But uh, what does the Fisk discuss this evening <coughs> amongst themselves? So I think there are some training opportunities here. I don't know what time frame we're under, but I for one would like to see what this place has to offer me. That sounds fantastic, but I'll have you know I wake up no earlier than noon. Have to take that up with your drill instructor. <laughs> I'll find a different drill instructor. <laughs> I'll wake up when I'm done crafting my potions, I guess. Yeah, I'll need to prepare, especially if we want to go after all those robot things. So we're going back abominations. to... Once we're done training, we go back to Baldor and then to Magrush with the Jeffries. Sounds good to me. I think so, yeah. So anyway, Cool Cross, are you trying to be some avatar of Grumsh or something? You sound like you seem like you're very angry when you avatar fight and stuff and like everything Grumsh dies. <laughs> <laughs> well, from what I from the information I gleaned, it's I could either go in that direction or I could uh, somehow gain great change in the positive manner. Oh, so you're trying to be like a philosopher now is what you're t- telling us. That's right. That one point of intelligence over you. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I actually have 10 intelligence too, so you can't pull a fast one over on me anymore. Not Lies. so easily. Lies. <laughs> you have to have a roll off now. Yeah. Roll is. So you're telling me you're not trying to be a murder machine, you're trying to be a man of reason now. Always. <laughs> Still think you could direct that energy towards Bahamut or the Everlight. It'd be far more productive. I don't want those horns. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get smarter, there's always Ioun. Then you could surpass him. <laughs> <laughs> You could be smarter than the local drunk, you heard her. <laughs> Aren't I already? <laughs> that remains yet to be seen, Ghoulgrass. Do we have anywhere to sleep in here? We were in the hospital before this. That is true. We immediately <laughs> recovered in the way. Uh, the ale house, uh, unfortunately, does not uh, have uh, rooms. Uh, okay. It is specifically like a, a place of food and rest, okay. of uh, like yeah, general rest. Tell us where to sleep, then, I guess. But no, please. They told us where to eat, not where to sleep. Go on. I am curious, Coolcross. What is this great change you want to bring about that you speak of? I don't. With all the crazy shit that we've seen, I want. I want to gain a way to protect that, or from that. Vague, but it's a start, protect, sure. Protect it or protect from it. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you should think about Ayu, and I think Shima might have a point. <laughs> Maybe you could read a book about change, I guess. If we go to... What's it called again? Magrush. There is a trove there. Trove library. Look, all I'm saying is you guys forgot about the Void Mind real quick when we were in combat. <laughs> that was its power! <laughs> that was that's not a real thing! <laughs> its power was to make us forget stuff. Am I the only one that thinks Bag Rush sounds like a music festival? <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to a few in your day, Orlin? I know you're, no. I know you're not very old, but... Fred Meyer has a very fine one every summer. You must have been very cultured in your upbringing. Hmm. Better, make a, the, better make a date for that one. <laughs> I have to make a, a music <laughs> festival for for, for Edmire. Yes. For, for you Magrush. know we're gonna go back. <laughs> for Magrush, not for Redmire. No, for Redmire, because he said specifically Redmire. He just said it oh, sounds like one. I said Magrush sounds like one, but uh, I said there was one in Redmire. <laughs> it's canon <laughs> now. Inserting my own. Do you have any particular favorite bard you listen to? Didn't you hear about Bard a while back? Or was that somebody from history? <laughs> well, I thought he was going into his notes. I had six of them. I think it's favorite genre of Bard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you prefer the lute? 
Or have some percussion. I'm a harp man myself. Not that I play the harp, but I listen to the harp. A man of culture. I can <laughs> respect that. Harps are pretty soothing to read to. Uh, while you guys uh, just d- d- discuss this, um, um, uh, I- eventually, uh, uh, Shima, you see uh, Sergeant uh, Malug uh, c- comes up. That this was your um, Malug. Malug. Ah, it never gets old. So I hear that you guys are looking to uh, to do some training while you're while while you're here at the garrison. And then I hear that at right? our table. <laughs> I mean, we got we got spy stalkers, so like. Well, I mean, I don't think there's anything else to do here. So sure. Well, uh, well, as it just ter- ter- turns out, I just uh, I just fi- finished uh, training my uh, re- re- recruits not too long a- a- ago, so I have some downtime. I can. Uh, can train you all in uh, whatever physical disciplines you guys are, are looking for. Do any of them appear to be traumatized? <laughs> uh, are no. There, are there any? No, of course not. Insight. <laughs> <laughs> are there any extremely bandaged individuals? Around? Make perception check. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's not bad. Uh-huh. Not for me. Fifty. Fifteen. Uh, he rolled a natural one. Ooh. Uh, as uh, he he says that, uh, uh, he he looks over at the uh, at uh, uh, another t- table of uh, re- re- recruits. It wasn't that hard, was it, guys? Uh, the, uh, you you see um, uh, several bandaged uh, in, in, in individuals. Like one has like a full on cast uh, of like mm-hmm. like top torso b- 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 body cast. They just give their thumbs up. <laughs> I think I'm going to like this train, and it sounds entertaining, Mr. Malug. Uh, that's Sergeant from from this day forward. If you commit to this training, I won't I won't answer to anything else. All right, Sergeant, we have a deal. That's what I like to 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 hear. And um uh um. So, uh, if uh, if this is the uh, commitment, then uh, we shall proceed. Um, uh, so, training uh, here at the Wild Gallop Garrison is uh, 500 gold each uh, to train in a uh, unique physical discipline. Okay. Uh, specifically, you're paying 500 gold for a feat. Sure. Um, nor- normally, this takes a month but uh, because you guys are uh, adventurers, you guys got your own schedules to keep, um, uh, you're gonna be doing this uh, accelerated. Uh, So this is gonna be, in two weeks, you guys are going to uh, train for 16 hours a day for the next two two weeks, uh, including weekends, um, uh, to learn a feat of your choice. Uh, so let's go around the table and see who is doing what. Starting with Colcross, what feat did you choose? Are we just saying what the feat is? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go for athlete. Athlete. So uh, your training uh, will involve uh, various amounts of like uh, old age um, Olympic style of tra- 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 training. So like long distance runs. Uh, uh, short jumps, long jumps, pole vaulting, like like uh, classic cl- like boulders, rock um, climb, shot put, yeah, um, um, climbing like like a uh, like a fifty foot um, rope lat- l- l- ladder and climbing down to the other side faster and faster and faster each time. Just lots of physical movement over the the next uh, two two weeks, and uh, it is. It's a lot. <laughs> it is a, a lot. Also, um, you guys are all, um, as part of the uh, Wild Gal G- G- Garrison Training r- r- Regiment, you guys are effectively, you do get a temporary mi- military rank. <laughs> Initiative. Uh, you guys are known as uh, re- recruits or, uh, or uh, re- tr- recruits in, in tr- training. Um, uh, you all get like the same type of 
uniform, like red trousers, red shirts. Uh, depending on the training of the the, the day, uh, you'll wear some like bulky armor to like weigh weigh you, you down and like run laps. Uh, you learn a handful of like uh, Red Mire marching songs. Um, whether you want to or not, they're just <laughs> drilled in, into your head after a, a, a while. Um, early mornings, late evenings, uh, it is hell. And they only have to allow to, to give you four hours of sleep each night. They don't have to give you the full eight hours. <laughs> oh, then this is definitely a learning experience, and I want to tell you, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> this is what I get up at dawn every day for. That's why I punch him every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, also, during this uh, I I experience uh, with the uh, gold um, pay 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 payment, you guys do get like your own uh, barracks for the, the the most part. It's just a it's just a room with like a bunk bed. Uh, so it's, it's, you, it's usually like for two or, or four, uh, you can choose, um, however you want to, uh, to f f figure that, that out. If you guys want to room with, with yourselves or room with, uh, other sol soldiers training for the, their own thing, uh, I will leave that up to your imaginations. Uh, or bunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Double, I got, I got two bunk beds next to each other. Long legs. <laughs> just to fit one person. Everyone else yeah. in your room is like, like, uh, like the, I think... the bottom half of my legs are on one bunk and the rest of these are the other bunk. <laughs> uh, the the trainees in your bunk is like, I think we need a hammock. <laughs> Careful, there's a boogeyman under somebody's bed now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just sleep under different people's beds every night. <laughs> <laughs> try to like bother them. They get up in the morning. <laughs> 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 yeah, just a random person. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's actually perfect. Uh, what is what like is Orland? One of us. Uh, I backtrack again. I'm going with the fighter initiate style, uh, dueling fighting style. All right. So um, Malug uh, trains you in uh, the art of, of dueling. Uh, they act. Um, uh, he's not a duelist per se, but he does uh, bring in uh, a instructor to advise you in uh, the arts. Um, this is uh, one of the. Uh, the the fancy foot foot footwork of uh du du dueling is and whatnot is not uh just as similar to what your brother Durance does uh because he is a dueler he is a fencer, um so you are even though you usually wield long swords and lances and and axes uh, there's still a lot to learn from one handed uh, uh fencing te te techniques, um you you. You certainly become a little bit more acrobatic as the the, the, the days go go by, and uh, certainly a, a little bit more flexible and nimble. And uh, that is how your training goes for the next two weeks. Uh, Shima, what uh, feat did you choose? Um, I'm not strong, so <laughs> I did mobile, so I could just run a lot. Mobile. I'll be chasing people and stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, for the next two two weeks, and uh, you've trained with uh, Malug b b before. Uh, so Sergeant M Malug was uh, the one who taught you while you were at the Cerulean Trove, and you d d decided to be a lore s seeker. In order to be one, you basically had to have been trained to be like a level one uh, a a adventurer. Um, and uh, M Malug was just happened to be the the one. Uh, chosen to uh, train us really intro members in this art. Um, I use my dice now. <laughs> <laughs> what? When I use the one that, when I use the brain pain, my damage bonus is higher than my dice roll now. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Glorious. Um, a lot of your tr training involves um, just a, a lot of uh, short distance sprints and also um, running and moving in odd a a a angles. There's this thing called uh, shuttle sprints where you just run like uh, like a yard back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, there's the there's crab sprints where where you run sideways like a crab back and forth really fast, and you have to get faster each day. And you're doing this in 
plate mail. Like the first day is in plate and then it gets a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller. And uh, after a while, uh, Shima, you develop uh, the mobile feet. Uh, Vaxus. Yep. Waking up early is not your, your strong suit. Uh, waking up at noon never happens in the next two two weeks. You are waking up sub, sub 5 a.m. And it's not just you wake up and uh, you exercise. No, it's you wake up, you make your bed, you get cleaned up, and then uh, you get dressed in, up. in for formation uh, at a, a certain time. And every time you are, are late, you are, are you and uh, whatever training group you're in is punished for. <laughs> um, I, I would say it takes a good four days for the for Vaxis to get the hint of like, okay, uh, <laughs> this is my life now. This is what I pay for. <laughs> Um, what feat did you choose? Um, I picked Savage Attacker. Savage Attacker. All right. Uh, a lot of your training involves, um, a lot of, like, bounce back, uh, m m maneuvers. You're basically hitting, like, uh, like a rubber mallet against, uh, some sort of, uh, rubber, like, like, boulder coated in rubber and and it's it's a lot of that and you're just waiting for either the mallet or the <clears throat> boulder to break i smack oil and as he runs by sometimes <laughs> <laughs> the um uh it's a, a a lot of of that and also a lot of like using this rubber ma ma mallet against uh, other types of uh of Ma ma materials like a, like like hot like chop down a tree with an axe made of rubber. <laughs> Use a shrubbery. <laughs> After a a a while, like like you, your muscles hurt so goddamn much, but uh, you uh, develop uh, the savage attacker feet. I also smack Cole across as he runs by. <laughs> We're not in the same field. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you're unable to hit Shishima because... Uh, <laughs> it's just too fast. Too yeah. fast. I, I, I wasn't even going to try. <laughs> I, just, I like jump over it and stuff. Uh, Shima, uh, it, this is not the only thing that you're doing in the next two weeks, is of course it? Not. Uh, what else uh, are, are you getting into Shima, for your... Shima hasn't had the downtime until now, but she also underestimated how hard the training was going to be but she really wanted to craft a whole bunch of potions uh especially since i got the patrol blood vials that would help with that and mean i don't have to spend any actual gold on that and since the training was 500 gold i don't want to spend much more gold so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend uh, well, be almost two days worth of time spread out over two weeks to craft uh, a whole bunch of oh, a number of potions. A whole bunch of potions. <laughs> yeah. All right, foregoing sleep, uh, uh, like like a few hours of sleep each day. Um, in order to craft these potions, um, at the at the end of the two two weeks, uh, I would say a lot like all of the fist is like sore, tired, and exhausted. But Shishima, uh, I would say you are at a greater <clears throat> risk at this. Uh, I would like for you to make two Constitution saving throws, uh, DC twelve, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, wait, am I adding something? To that? Uh, 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 the Okay. I think it's just your constipation bonus. Yeah, she's proficient. Yeah, it's true. Was it saving throw? Oh, that's good. That's good. Let's do this. Oh, I rolled good. Okay. I got a uh, 19 and a natural 20. Wow. Nice. It's horrible. Or 23 for that one. Uh. 
e even though the the energy is very different from uh, being a bookworm back at the uh, Cerulean Trove and uh, staying up in the wee hours to uh, research various uh, things and probably do some uh, potion crafting of your own back then, um, you are able to match that le that l l level of I can survive on five hours of sleep this day. Um, and so on and, and so forth. And uh, yeah, you're able to power through these two weeks, no problem. I think part of it is that I may or may not have cheated a little bit with the with the running by using my feline agility feet <laughs> and cheated a little bit to take it a little easier. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you definitely have some sort of so, yeah. uh, weird uh, advantage in that. Like it, it, it helped some, but uh, doing it over like a long extended course of two two weeks it's, yeah. it's like your legs are jelly but you know that jelly they're legs. you know that it it's fast fast jelly very well because i don't know how to take it uh so after these uh two weeks um uh various reports come out from the the box box of uh the mountain men uh from the dolana mountain range <laughs> uh, um uh, basically, c c coming out, uh, the uh, the mountain men have uh, have rallied under a, a banner, like like they they have a, a name to, to 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 them. They're known as the Spine Bleeders. The weirdos. Uh, reports say that the spine bleeders make up a uh, amalgamation of, of different uh, um, Delana mountain range uh, uh, tribes. Uh, they have uh, they, uh, they their ranks consist of uh, gnolls, uh, goblins, uh, some uh, hill giants and trolls. Uh, some ogres have been seen in, in their ranks. Uh, some humans uh, and other uh, uh, races as well, but those make up the the bulk of the of the uh, spine bleeders, and uh, they have been ra they have been uh, just running various like hit and run campaigns against uh, against like all of the uh, the northern. Uh, Cities of uh, Gemdom, uh, Bulg, Mul Mul Muldor, uh, uh, the Arcane Imperium's uh, e uh, e Evocation Tower, uh, Hedobrod, and Langdale has been uh, getting attacked every now and then. Um, Multan is taking like a very heavy stance of like you know we have to uh, stamp this out before it gets too much uh, out of hand. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much like the uh, the massive uh, reports of like the the, da the daily news um, as it goes. Uh, Norwich uh, still haven't heard from them, and yeah, that is uh, pretty much it as far as uh, Vox Box news. Um, I will say at, uh, at at one of the last days of uh, tr training, uh, Colcross, oh. your uh, your friends from uh, from Outcast, uh, Asamara and uh, Thur Thurnar, uh, the uh, Minotaur and, and Dwarf, uh, they they uh, they come to to, to you. Hey, so uh, I heard that you did uh, you you did your groom's blood thing, whatever that, that 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 is. Sounds fun. Well, it was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Fought spiders. We talked to bears. I killed a troll. A Mul troll. Multiple times. Multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> How, how many times? And I don't want to down. To... I, I don't want to downplay the spiders. They were bigger than you. Yeah, that sounds like a bad joke. <laughs> how many attacks does it take to kill a troll? Three. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 
Asus is Samara says, uh, well, I, I have to, to say that we are quite uh, in, impressed. Um, uh, what do you think, uh, what, when do you think you're going to, uh, to let um, your, your folks know about this? Oh, I probably should let them know. We have those, wait. I think I still have those pages of sending. Uh, there is pages of sending uh, yeah, amongst the so somewhere in the group. There's pages of sending. Yeah, we have we have a bunch like what four? I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> there's some in your inventory. Yeah, you somewhere. Out. Well, um, I'm sure they they would uh, love to, to to hear from from you. Right. And um, actually, that is we have uh, seven apparently. Man, we should distribute these. <laughs> well, I probably they're, did distribute them. I just didn't. They're just you a have part... like seven calls per day. You guys, can make. <laughs> they're, just, they're literally just a part of Shima's dragon horde of inventory. <laughs> yeah. well, we should we should have uh, message uh, what's his face <laughs> every day. We're like Rico, <laughs> fuck you. What up, nerd? Yeah, we did. <laughs> is, we there, is there a spell we can like cast <laughs> on Sersha where she can talk like a human? <laughs> Probably. And then, uh, speak with humans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speak with Rico. She, she does it. She chooses not to use it. <laughs> she, she just she sits there, goes up to bad. Rico, and you cast it on her. A bowl? Really? <laughs> or a cup? Really? Uh, Ther, the, the mm. Ther Narsen speaks up. Uh, well, uh, that's good. Um, in fact, um, um, uh, it's after now, so I think we can say um, there is a reason for us being here, uh, we were actually asked uh, by your mom to uh, to look out for you in case uh, in case you did uh, come around here. Because uh, as a spirit sh sh shaman, she is known to uh, certain things, and uh, she was highly c confident that you would find your way here one day. And um, we wanted to be here. Oh, she wanted us to to, to be here, and well, we wanted to be here too. Like once once we took, were asked a, about it, and we figured that seeing some familiar fa faces to uh, you know would would be good for, for for you. And for what it's worth, well, she sends her love. She well, misses you. Are you guys gonna stay here, or are you guys going back then? We'll probably stay here for uh, a few more days because we have been learning a lot here, um, and and we've been teaching as uh, as well. Um, not uh, you'd be so, so surprised at how how much uh, information on a on a felling uh, giant kin can uh, like that sort of information is highly v valued here. So. Even though we are not of the hill re renders, we've been around them uh, for a, a long while, and we have much to teach them, and they have uh, some things to teach us as well. But uh, we will be go be going back to, to Outcast uh, within the next uh, week or, or so. And for what it's worth, Colcross, your parents do miss you. I do miss them too. Of course, I guess I could go back. I feel like I need to see this through. Well, they will be waiting for you um, uh, whenever you're ready. But um, I don't think we should. Uh, go ahead and tell him. I think he deserves to know. Um, I don't know if you heard over the box box the uh, this these spine bleeders. Yes. They've been. <clears throat> trying to recruit orc tribes to join them and the hill renders were asked to join the spine bleeders i don't feel like we would probably not no but um the spine bleeders all uh, we don't know that much about them uh, we've been here for a long time uh, but uh, your mom being a spirit sh sh shaman she uh, perceives that the spine blue bleeders are just a roving band of crazed tribal um, mentality of burn everything of uh, civilization to the, the ground and just cause chaos. And are we don't. Also, are they also orcs or are they just a, 
amalgamation of everything. Uh, or do we not know? Gnolls, goblins, hill giants, trolls, and humans. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there might be orcs. Oh, there's, uh, there's humans too in that mix? Well, wow. alright. There might be orcs. Uh, we're not sure. Um, like I said, we've been here for the, the, the longest time, but, uh, but a, from what I, I was told, a, a missive, uh, arrived at the gates of, uh, Outcast. Um, it was basically just a, a, a declaration of join us or you're against us. And I don't know, like, uh, obviously, like, our... Shamans would are you know we, we the Yersha shamans have a home and uh, outcast and I feel like as long as they have a home there, um, they're not going to get on the destroy all civilization bandwagon like they are c- 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 civilization. Not after we've all we've created. Well, there is talk of the dwarves wanting to retake Potsport. Because that's what Outcast was beforehand. Um, they want their civilization back, and uh, Glint ha- Hammer Tongue, uh, he's he doesn't want to give it back. So you think if, the dwarves are gonna side with them? Uh, if anything, the dwarves will see the the, the hill rend- r- r- renders and my tribe that resides there as. Uh, Potential spine figures, or at the very least, uh, individuals that are t- taking over dwarven interests, and who knows what what's going to happen. Like the spine b- 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 leaders are in the the mountains. Uh, M- Multan is m- mountain based, and um, dwarves are stubborn. <laughs> Don't I know it? Uh, so, it's possible that the dwarven council might do something stupid. But I think we're a long way from anything like that ha- happening. But who knows? Maybe uh, maybe the hill r- r- renders need a, a a strong voice, one that has seen uh, much of the world and hear and heard the and understand the plights of uh, non-orcish folk. I think just having a, a different uh, a different voice, a different uh, opinion in, in the mix might be beneficial. But I'm sure these shamans can handle it, handle things for for, for now. What's that other voice supposed to be? Uh, that's uh, that's Thurnar, your uh, dwarf friend. No, the they were saying like oh, maybe you? another voice. But I am an orc. Well, yeah, but you're an orc who's seen. Look, most of the hillbenders <laughs> I know. <laughs> Have stayed with the Hillrender tribe, like they like they don't venture out. Like they only know family and the Hillrender oh, tr- tr- okay, tradition. Oh, with my worldly experience. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, you've you've. Well, we've we've heard a, a lot about uh, this uh, this fist that you tr- tr- travel with. Uh, you've been to Langdale. You've been to Boldor. Sounds like we'll need to take care of these roaming nomads. Where's Outcast at in relation to Langdeth? Oh, you mean us? Where's Outcast at? Uh, it's uh, Potsport, all the way in the west. Potport is what it says oh, on the map. Go. That's your hometown? Port yeah. It's a port of potty. Uh, port potty. We're going to port potty. Yeah, I remember it was over here because the joke was I was on the back <laughs> nine. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, port Pots is the name, is the official dwarven name of, of the town. Uh, but uh, something happened with the town. It got uh, it got overtaken by hill giants at some point and uh, kicked all of the uh, dwarves out. Uh, the the hill renders were hired by a man named uh, Glint Hammertongue, a dwarf, who was like, "Hey, um, I'll hire you guys to, uh, to kick the hill renders out of this town." But in return, I want to be in charge of the town, and I'll I'll give you guys a, a home here because I know that the hill renders are these, uh, like you guys are nomadic. You like you don't sip, you don't put down roots. Like I will give you roots if you do this for for, for me. Uh, the hill renders uh, uh, agreed and uh, kicked out the hill giants and Potsport 
uh, became home to the Hillrenders. And uh, a little later on, um, uh, a Minotaur clan and a Goblin clan also uh, joined in. And uh, Potsport, over time, uh, colloquially got renamed into uh, Outcast. But uh, on official maps, everyone calls it Potsport because uh, right now uh, the Dwarves of Moltan don't recognize uh, Outcast for what it's turned into. So that's sort of the situation there. I know none, none, none of you guys are here, but uh, it, it bears saying. So I got a question. Did we ever get a long rest, considering we're only sleeping like four hours a day? Uh, well, like they only have to give you four hours of, of rest. Like there okay. are some days where you do get a full eight hours and you're like, you probably don't sleep the entire eight. You're just like, any minute now the, we're going to get yelled, yelled, yelled at. And, um, gotcha. And uh, do push-ups with our beds on our backs. Um, Joke's on them, huh? <laughs> That's how I sleep. Where's the other one? Huh? I will say... <laughs> They'll after, never find me down here. I will say... Af <laughs> I will say uh, on this day, uh, two weeks after t t training, you can begin the, the day with a long rest. So, during the two weeks, can I have bought bigger salts? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me add can I have bought my cocaine? How much were they? <laughs> That's contraband recruit, or not? Uh, I will let you know. Uh, while I am figuring that that, that that out. There'll be no performance enhancing drugs during this training. <laughs> uh, during training, no. Dead roll the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that being said, Cold Cold Cross, uh, you know, we wish you best of luck on your travels, and, you know, Come, come, come by home, uh, wh whatever you can. Come sit, sit, say hi. You don't have to stay if you don't want to. Well, I'll have to check on everything, make sure that we're not kicked out. Uh, or whatever I'm, they want to try to do. I'm sure if situations became dire enough, um, uh, your mother will uh, re reach out to you uh, when she can. Yeah, if, if, if it was dire. Like, she didn't want to, to, to worry you now, but... Uh, Outcast is just as much as your home as it is ours, and we felt that you uh, should hear about it now rather than later. Well, whatever it is you plan to do, uh, we wish you the best of luck, and congratulations on getting this far. Um, the, the, the Thulnar gives you a, a, a hug. He, he, he's a dwarf, so he only like like comes up to like the, the higher part of, of your leg. Uh, Asamira uh, gives you a, a big bear, bear hug and, and just like picks you up a little bit. With the dwarf still oh, yeah. holding on. With the dwarf still holding on. <laughs> With the dwarf still holding on. <laughs> the hug sandwich. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> um, he's used to it. Uh, over the... Um, the next two two weeks, uh, co co cross uh, every now and now and then uh, because of the uh, the weirdness of uh, sleep deprivation of <laughs> of the uh, training involved uh, at the Wild Gal Garrison, um, you do wake up every now and then with uh, some sort of uh, weird markings on your arms. It just gets a little bit more pronounced uh, each day. And uh, I'll say uh, on this second training? on this second week, um, you see that uh, your right arm, uh, you just have like, uh, well, you tell me what does your what sort of what does your right arm look like now? Well, uh, my right arm is now covered in uh, tattoos, and they they depict. Uh, probably the brambles all going down it, and then all the trials that we went through. So there's bear, there's a couple of bears on it. There's the uh, the spiders that we fought, and probably on the shoulder. There's an ugly, there's an ugly, ugly troll head. Not that one. <laughs> on <it. laughs> Tells the story. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, every time for the trolls' bay, not bramble, whatever. That's what we labeled the episode. <laughs> Uh, whenever, uh, whenever Cold Cross rages, um, uh, the smoky apparitions of, uh, your, um, deific ancestors, uh, take form 
uh, in the form of like four uh, gray ghostly shadowy fi figures. But that ghostly mist travels throughout all across your, your body as well and it clings to your skin and you feel like now that am amorphous blob-like feeling has solidified into this uh, story of your adventure on one of your arms, solidifying yourself as a Grungsblood taking their first step in accepting what they are. The tattoo always there or just when I rage? The tattoo seems to be always there. Okay. And um, when you rage, well, we'll see what happens. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Vigor Salt. You actually have it in the description of 25 gold each. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I bought four more. Not a problem. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a man that knows what he likes. Orlin, Orlin is a drug addiction. <laughs> <laughs> Vigor Salts and uh, Incursion. I've never actually used Incursion. I just had a lot of demon blood <laughs> mingled with my own. Orlin, Every... Orlin's dealing with a lot of new family drama that <laughs> is news to him. <laughs> Uh, every now and then, uh, that one incursion, uh, salesman will show up, uh, <laughs> as, oh, as, as you guys are like, Hey, I see you guys, uh, well, I see you guys are really taking a beating out there. Have you ever tried <laughs> enhancing your performance? Does, like, is, is it also does like a, a weird... sergeant person come and kick him out? Uh, every now and then, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Is it also like some weirdo and he's like, has a trench gun? Have you tried incursions? Uh, God, are you? Yeah, this this gangly Leonin type type dude. Uh, he yeah, he just opens his trench coat. Every now and then, <laughs> he does open up uh, his his coat, uh, merch uh, re four mer merchant style. Uh, what are you boy? Several vials of of this uh, blackened uh, inky like liquid. You actually buy vigor salts from this guy. <laughs> Recruit, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Uh, he does get kicked out a lot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, two weeks of training. Uh, you guys, uh, uh, what's next? Uh, it is the morning uh, after you guys are, are done. You have made your bed at, uh, here for the last time. Uh, for some of you, you just never had to make your bed. You made it once and that was it. <laughs> you just sleep underneath it. <laughs> I don't make my bed. I make it really messy because they've been yelling at me for two weeks to make the bed. And I'm like, yeah, I believe me. I just mess it all up. I toss pillows across the room. And uh, even on, uh, even on your and like, and I mess up another recruit spread. <laughs> even on like your, He's your in the back, <laughs> even on like no, your, it's uh, not my fault, not this time. Even on like your uh, graduation day of of, of sorts, uh, they they still put put you in like the front little leaning rest for the in, entire time. Uh, like it's a, it's like you're about to do a push up, but you just stay there. Um, uh, while they are taking a commemorative fo fo photo of of this thing, and these are like the old school fo fo photos where it takes like an hour to <laughs> expose it, so <laughs> you're just like. <laughs> But, but you are forced to smile the entire time. <laughs> Otherwise, I, they'll have to body, take it all my over. My body again. goes across like most of the length of the photo. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone well, is just on. standing behind you. Yeah. There's just a photo, you see everybody, and then there's just like a giant torso. Like, <laughs> it's an extra wide angle yeah, lens. Yeah, it has to be extra wide angle. Wait, is, that, is this a training regimen or did you kill that thing? <laughs> <laughs> it must have gone on a hunt. <laughs> it's huge. Legendary anaconda kid. <laughs> the Andashima. Um, uh, so, uh, where does the fist travel to next? Is your magic stick to go to the warehouse? I, I'm a little too eager with the stick. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> all right. We all, we all fling. Uh. <laughs> all right. Uh, you all uh, t uh, get together around Sh Shima. Uh, uh, well, yes, I would very much like, like for you to roll a D100. Faxes, do you buy any boot liquor for the road? <laughs> I like to think it's like, hey, thanks guys for the training. Bye! <laughs> no, it was just, yeah. I'd like to, but it was very disappointing how I, I lost it last time and I'm afraid it's going to happen again. <laughs> stop right, stop right. hanging upside down. <laughs> All right, well, Some things are beyond my control. I learned that 
We'll just fail once, maybe. After that, if and if we fail, it doesn't count as a fail. Wait, Should what does that mean? Be <laughs> this is a place we're familiar with. Yeah, we're going to Baldor, right? Isn't that where we're going? Yeah. Uh, yes, you yeah, are yeah, going to Baldor. Should so. we let them know that we're coming? Um, Ooh, yeah, like Jeffries. if we said we hmm? could message. Jeffries? I don't know, is there, are we just transported to the middle of town? It's in the warehouse. Let me, let me scroll up to Baldor and see. If oh, that's right, we have a warehouse. Uh, yeah, we've been in that warehouse, so. In the candy shop. Disappeared in the candy <laughs> shop. I mean, we could. We literally, like, own it because I, 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 I basically bought there? them out and told them, like, hey, we get free candy. Was well, your what? My brother. Um, Would he still be there? Or would he have left? You can now? message him. Sure, I'll message him and see if he's still at Baldor. Um, his name's Orion, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because his... Okay. Wasn't his name Orion? His name is Orion. I forget my brother's name. Okay. You horrible right, sibling. My, my 25 or less message is, Orion, <clears throat> I'm so tired. <laughs> Are you in Baldor? We need to get there today now. And rest and get the Jeffries. I don't know how long we have of messaging. You guys, Shima, stop hogging minutes. all the notes of sending. You have all the stuff. Uh, in this, uh, at this point, um, it's it's around like eight o'clock in, in in the morning. Um, uh, there is a, a re response. Uh, however, the response isn't words. It's just man. <laughs> Skeletor? Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> yes. Man. <laughs> you think about that, try to get through the skit now. <laughs> the me the message uh it, you don't you don't hear words, you just hear like this this weird uh staticky noise. Uh, that lasts about a minute. Oh, and then through tunnels. Uh, was that where the void mine was? I don't remember. Was the void mine in Baldor? Uh, the void mine or was, was in Bol in Baldor, but okay. um, heard that thing. Uh, yeah, you we, are. We heard that there could have been others. So. What if he's a dender and it's blocked? Mm -hmm. Oh. Anyway. Well, doesn't it only get blocked if you're on a different plane of existence? Well, Dender um, had that special thing around it, though. Yeah. There's a there's a, a percentage that it could not go through if it's on another plane of, of existence, but it's like 95% chance it will go through. Um, make an insight check, if you'd like, or an arcana check, your, your sure. choice. Let's do this one. Yeah. Not good, probably. What's my arcana or what is it? Uh, yeah. Oh, arcana. Uh, 14. 14. Um, okay, so a response came through. So yeah, uh, so name. your brother is able to so... to make a re 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 response. Um, I just can't hear it. Uh, for whatever reason, um, like there, there could be a bunch of, of reasons why, st why you're getting back static. Uh, if he was on another plane, uh, you wouldn't hear anything, and then you would have to figure out if your brother is alive or dead or somewhere else. But the fact that you're getting what's like the magical equivalence of a busy signal <laughs> could be a, a bunch of things. He could still be uh, a, a asleep, and this is just like the magical standard response, or. Uh, any no, any other number of uh, of things could could be the, the, the reason. It could also be that he's choosing not to re respond. Well, wouldn't it just uh, with, be silence then, not static? Uh, with a with a, a fourteen, uh, it's hard to tell. Okay. Well, I could use another page. Answer me, damn it, <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> um, well, I mean. I guess I I know enough that he's not dead, so I'm not gonna worry too much. But I'll have to figure out something later, I suppose. So I use another page. Um, uh, would Orla still be there? 
Uh, Orla okay, is back in Redmire. Okay, so she's in Redmire. Because that was the last place we saw her? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's, um, there's the law mage. I'm looking at my whole list of people and deciding Would, would I have time to make a pit message. stop before we teleport? Uh, yeah, sure. Alright. She All was right. making calls, so. Alright, Shima, while you're busy chatting up the, yeah, the my, continent, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> paper and a quill. Um, well, don't right. go far, we gotta teleport. I'm not leaving town, relax. It's not like I could run away anyway. You'd catch me in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. We know where you sleep. Classmate mm-hmm. or the bed. <laughs> yeah, maybe. There's plenty of room. You can always find another bed to sleep under there. it if you want yeah. to try it. You had dinner with them and it's mostly been helpful. Um, I'm going to go to the, uh, uh, what was it, the, uh, the Raven Queen yeah, the uh, hall lady. that I was at before. Mm. You can always go to her. I'll probably do Tisha first. Right. If she's busy. Um, uh, go ahead and make a quick call to uh, Tisha. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl, hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Careful, she fights back when you send her a message. You ran away. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> You're not here right now. You're busy. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, hello, Law Mage. Jokrona. Yeah, Jokrona. Um... Our group needs to teleport from... Redmire area back to Boldor. Can you be on lookout in case we die? I think you got Teleporting it. now. Uh, a response. Yeah, like five more. Yeah. A response comes in. After all we've been through, you can call me Tisha. Very well. I'll let the local Red Guard know to uh, keep an eye out for, for you. Uh, are you expecting trouble? I'll use another paper. <laughs> <laughs> one word. <laughs> no, I just don't want to be this rude and pop in the middle of the town. Okay, uh, my, my answer is... I, I, you, just hear in the, you just hear in the distance, MAKE WAY! <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say, yes, last time we fast traveled, I think we all died. <laughs> question mark. And I say the word question mark. Mr. <laughs> Rana, you what? But, but we were revived well, yeah, because better. I sent word ahead of time. A response comes back. I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> and then I look up from writing on the magical paper and I'm like, where'd Vaxus go? He's not back yet. Uh, Vaxus, <laughs> where, uh, so you're heading to uh, one of the... Um, <clears throat> the tents of, uh, of, uh, dedicated to the, uh, Raven Queen, um. Oh, I thought it was a building, it's a tent, I think. Well, the, well, there, uh, you were put in the, in a, a, a tent, uh, you go there, there first, cause, cause that's where, uh, you found them, uh, they're, they're not there, uh, but then, uh, you start to, to, to look around, there is a small temple, um, just, uh, just on the outside of the, uh, the surroundings of the g- g- garrison, um, and uh, it is like like thick, like steep steeples, um, black. Uh, the steeples themselves almost look like two bones crossing. Okay. Um, lots of like little skull mo- motifs in the mortar work <clears throat> uh, of of this building, and uh, the doors. Uh, have like these uh, these black feather engravings on them, and uh, you open the doors, and uh, there's already like six people standing in what what looks to be like a a, a small uh, church room uh, with uh, with pews and uh, a pulpit at the end, but there are these six uh, black robed uh, figures with these veiled hoods, uh, all in different points of uh, the church, and they're all just pointed directly at you. Um, 
Yes, hello. I was here a few weeks ago. I don't remember who I spoke to. You're all very mysterious in your pajama clothes. They all say in unison, we remember. <laughs> okay, creepy. <bye. laughs> I mean, <laughs> creepy. I mean, great, great. great. One of them, uh, of the, like the, the, the closest one just uh, approaches you and uh, this singular entity speaks. What brings you to us? I think I need to have a little chat with your boss. You will speak with me, and she will hear. All right, I'd like to make a deal. The deal I have right now is probably not good for everyone. So I think it's probably in everyone's best interest that I make a new one with her. Why do you want to make a deal? Well, I can't get the things I want. Not with the ones who control me. I'll get what I want, but the rest of you might be dead. And I don't think that's the way I should... I don't think that's the way I should do things. Someone... Someone I knew... wouldn't want that to be the way that this happens. One of the other petitioners in the room speaks. The one you lost, do they, do they want still? Want what in particular? Another one speaks anything those who are lost have nothing another one speaks those who remain have everything the one in front of you speaks what do you want i want to talk to your boss first that's what i want all right i'm tired of your ramblings all right I wasn't here to speak with you. I understand you're speaking through her, but I'm not speaking to her. Make a persuasion check. I'll say with advantage because there is conviction in in this matter. I feel like they're the robots from the uh, high robot. Robots. One of us is an imposter. Which one? One, one of us. us. <laughs> <laughs> one of us. Uh, for Slavian, it's uh, 23. 23. And uh, you are no longer uh, exhausted. I would, I would hope not. I mean, we went through the ringer for like two weeks. But that's, what, that, that's why I asked them. That's why you way. double exhaustion. I was like, we're only allowed four hours of sleep. I'm like, do we actually like... <laughs> do we die? <laughs> <laughs> that's the minimum that they have to give you on any given night. Sure, sure. Uh, 23, you said? Yeah. Uh, they all look, not to you, but they look at each other, and then to you. Very well, they all say in unison. And uh, they all uh, make like a path, like uh, like between the, the, the pews, they all position themselves, and they all uh, individually point to the pulpit, where the back of where like the 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 front of the pulpit uh another uh, per, uh of her um unkindness is uh moving the pulpit back to actually no that's not what they're doing what am i saying uh, <laughs> take, take your time take your time gather, gather your thoughts someone comes comes out with a large stone bowl and places it on the pulpit and uh, they beckon you to come forward. Do you approach? I do. I kind of look around a little bit. You look around. The uh, the door is closed. It is very dark in here, save for like a handful of candles. Uh, like there's stained glass here, 
but even the stained glass doesn't reflect the true sunlight. And it's early in the, in, in the day. There should be pl plenty of sun. It, it almost lo looks like there. it's only bringing in moonlight. So it's always dark in here. It's very unsettling. Uh, but uh, you come up to the pulpit, you see this stone uh, bowl, uh, basin-like thing, and it is uh, filled with some sort of red liquid. Like it. Um, so now what? <clears throat> they speak individually. If you wish to speak, Place your head through the window, and she will hear, and you will hear. All right, uh, if I get a bad cramp, I'm going to complain a lot. <laughs> so, I was waiting for one of them. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I was tempted. I, uh, I, I go ahead and I, I uh, start to stick my face into the bowl. I, I kind of think it's ridiculous. Like, I'm a child, like, trying to eat with their face, but I just go ahead and do it. <laughs> All right. We're doing this. <laughs> uh -oh. Faxus. He's about to fight his boss. You, uh, you place your hands on either side of this uh, pulpit, and uh, you press your face into the cold red liquid of this bowl, and... Uh, your horns get in the way a, a little bit, but uh, you're able to submerge your entire face. Um, what do you do in this uh, in this moment? Can I talk, or am I like? I, I know you feel the the cold <laughs> liquid uh, go through your nose and your mouth. Um, do you open your eyes? Do you pull back? What do you do in this moment? Uh, I open my eyes. Like I'm not. I'm not really worried just because I know I don't have to breathe. So I'm just kind of like looking around. Like so. Like what am I waiting for? I'm trying to see if I notice anything. You s stand in this pose for about a minute, and then you get the feeling of okay, this is not doing what I thought I was going to do. And you try to, to like pull your head back and you can't pull your head back. Instead, you feel this tumbling sensation of going forward and almost like your whole body. The bowl is only like as big as a popcorn bowl, but you feel your whole body inside. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! <laughs> Eventually, you open your eyes uh, 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 again and you are back to that familiar lens landscape of uh, pulsing threads in the background, just like a quilt of endless threads circling the space around you, invisible to most and even to, to, to you, but you can kind of sense that they're there. And out in the darkness, you just see a almost like a pale doll's face come into view. Black pupilless eyes, black painted on lipstick on this porcelain doll's face. Um, and you hear a voice. You wish to speak with me. Yes, I pull out the feather. I have an invitation. One does not need an invitation. Why are you here? Because I need to make a new deal. I need to change. Things need to change for the good of everyone. Not just myself. Not just my own selfishness. What happens if there is no change? Well... You're the what? Mistress of death, correct? I think you'll be getting a lot more company more quickly than you would think. How many do you think have died in the breath of this conversation alone? How many 
lives have been made since you have taken your first breath. I don't consider myself a math person, but I'm sure it's a lot. A lot is correct. A lollipop. A thread appears between the two of you. This gray, frayed thread. And inside of this thread, you see these metallic meat hooks inside uh, different parts of this thread. Uh, one hook you see is attached to a uh, grotesque skeletal hand. Another, uh, a slimy black tendril, te tentacle. Another is this skinny, pale, uh, feminine hand. There are many that seek what you are offering. Many have a claim to what you offer still, and yet you offer more of what you don't have. What makes you think I can take what is not yours to give? Well, I can't say I didn't try. And I guess it makes no difference to you the who dies or how many die or when. I just thought it was worth a try. So if there's nothing you can do, then I'm sorry for wasting your time and my own. If that is what you have heard, then perhaps you are mistaken. Promises can be broken. The promise of death is no different. You broke that promise once. You can do so again. There's things I'd wish to see done before my time is up, you could say, even though my time has already been up. So I'd understand if you would be against making a deal with me perfectly reasonable but if you would so deem it that perhaps my time would be up after i saw my wishes fulfilled i would be fine with that you think there is no hope yet hope is all you have hope is what Let me put it this way. <laughs> Hold on. The God. Start over. I like look behind her. Is there somebody else over there? <laughs> You're bartering your soul to me. But your soul is not just your own. Many have laid claim to the soul of Vaxus Denvula for many different ideas and goals and values. If you seek my aid, you must lessen the grip of these other entities on your soul. Yeah, they are pretty clingy. I just don't know how to get rid of them, if that makes sense. There are those in your world who know, those you have spoken to. Uh, make a wisdom check. I'll say at advantage. Yeah, I'm going to need that. <laughs> Uh, wisdom check. Uh, thank goodness. Uh, 18. 18. Uh, you remember a conversation with uh, uh, Cecil um, back at uh, in B B Bulldor, um, showing you um, uh, books on Vesh, uh, speaking of uh, Vesh's power that uh, she's not, that there may be more to her existence than just she's a goddess. She was given her power presumably through the help of individuals. 
and one of those individuals, uh, Cecil points out, is um, can be found near Devil's Reach, uh, a hag by the name of Red Ruth. I, re- I recall. Um, she might have a way to distance yourself from Vesh. Because, presumably, she might have been one of the few who made Vesh. She's not the one I'm particular wor- particularly worried about right now, but go on. Well, you've got three meat hooks in your soul. Having one less is, uh, you know... All right. Is something. Then there's, um, there's the, the, the whispered one and, uh, the ceaseless hunger, um, uh, that wants your soul for, for their own purposes. Uh, those are a little more harder to break. That being said, uh, with that 18 wisdom check, um, while these uh, these other two meat, meat meat hooks are in your soul, uh, you uh, your thread, you see uh, the the very vaguest out, outline of another thread that is uh, sharing the space between those hooks. This uh, this blackened <clears throat> red thread, and you see that that thread too is connected to some other tiefling of oranges skin and uh, short black hair which you haven't seen you've only seen photos and illustrations of uh, make a history check this one not an advantage gotcha. Pick one uh, that's only a nine only a nine. You've seen this face on wanted posters uh, in connection to the slaying of uh, the Redmire King. Uh, the less hands that are on your soul, the more I can intervene and take hold, if that is what you wish. But these are things that you must make happen. Well... You do your part, and I will do mine. I'll see if I can move a few mountains, then. If not, this chat has been fun and enlightening. I wish you good day, my lady. A fedora just appears out of nowhere. (laughs) (laughs) And, um... And um, you Im- immediately uh, pull your head back from this uh, this bowl, this basin, and your face is just dripping with blood. Yeah. All right, that's pretty gross, but thanks for the uh, the chat I could have with your boss. Uh, you look around, and there's no one else in this room. What the, the freaking weirdos? <laughs> I know you're there. I just can't see you. Big perception check. Max has even gone for three months. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where are they? They we left. What a twist. We're, we're, like level, we're level 10 now or something. They left like two years ago, man. Uh, they has been liberated for nine years. <laughs> Not again. Uh, seven. Seven? Yeah, no sign of them. Sneaky bastards. The door is, uh, the, the main door is slightly ajar, though. Not a child's door. Have it your way. You rolled bad. I'll just go ahead. <laughs> I'll go ahead. And have it. Okay. Uh, back at uh, <laughs> back at the Uber. Is there any different scenes I'd like to so, in real quick? When Vaxus wanders off, I'm, I'm going to also wander off. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to hey, go hey. talk to hey. Countess Lucilla Lanwin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's still uh, uh, she's still around. around. <laughs> Hey, plot hooks, let's go. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> ah, Count Orlin Trinette. 
Yes, Countess, I just wanted to let you know the fist is going to be heading out, and I wanted to wish you luck in your dragon hunt with your team. Well, thank you very much for your candor, and uh, I guess it will be a, a race to Sean Nalor. Seems that way. Hopefully it'll be me that wins, but I prefer you over Count Chudon. Well, we shall see. I don't really know him, but he seems like a douche from what I've heard. Okay, <laughs> dick. <laughs> Douches are clean. He is not. <laughs> there are cannon that exist in this world. <laughs> I haven't been out long, so I don't really know what constitutes as an insult or, or, or not. I, I figured that was like the best thing to say. Yes, I liked it. Well, regardless, um, before I embarrass myself f further, good luck and may the best house win. So I'll <laughs> shake. Then you flip him over. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it! <laughs> Wipe down the competition. <laughs> Just strangle the woman. Uh, after a few moments pass, uh, Vaxus rolls up, uh, his whole face uh, covered in blood. <laughs> so, Colcross, do you have anything from Baldor in your pockets right now? I mean, it could Let's help check us, my inventory. It could help us not fail. I think it's even better if nobody acknowledges it. Like, <laughs> no, we've all we've all looked at you and just like. So anyway. You <laughs> see, you got your face painted. <laughs> yeah, there was a there was a parade troop that came by. And they were doing face paintings. Wait, I figured, where, why not? Where did I get my axe upgraded from? Uh, I believe you got it upgraded from Boldor. I got this. You all, you guys also have an assortment of gold uh, from Boldor. Uh, I'm sure someone like has the like. Gold is specifically tied to Boldor somehow. Uh, you guys also have like a deed for the uh, the warehouse space in Boldor. Vaxus might have a key to his mansion. I do. Vaxus has a key to his mansion. Also, uh, on a D100, you only get a mishap on a one through five. I got the brain pain sword in the sewers. You got the brain pain from the yeah. sewers. Like, I do want to roll, but I was just curious if we did have anything. But yeah, I figured the axe, I didn't think gold would count, because gold is just money. Yeah, plus true. We probably spent all that version of it. <laughs> by, by the way, Shiba, I'd like an honest opinion. Does this say, stay away from me? Always. Good. <laughs> I thought it said leave the wildlife alone. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, cool grass. Looks unsanitary. I don't have to look at it. <laughs> That's true, that is a good point. I'll pull up this character. Just wash him. Not geyser, but I'll wash him down. <laughs> hey, Blipper, uh, stop that. I could like press the station it too. Uh, what, sir, what form is uh, I like how she does that after I have already done this game. I mean, the water might so not get off everything. She'll stay in the drake form. Okay. Search so just stays uh, perch on, on, on your shoulder. Alright. So, um, using... <laughs> so, are you using an uh, associated object. Uh, object to, to, to teleport lady. there? Or uh, are you using, uh, uh, just, you're very f familiar there, because you've been there. You spent a long. We were there for a while. Yeah. I could. Uh, I, I mean, I want to roll these dice that I don't think I've ever rolled before. I could. You can do that. You can roll uh, the, the the break brass one. Well, it's your is, choice. I could. I could show her the. Uh, I could show her the golden pearl for the pearly gaze. Well, yeah, we have those too. So that's true. I thought but they took I, that. I just kind of want to roll for the fun of it. You and if we them. fail, we only fail once, and, and we, we get damaged them. a little bit, and then I would use the object, I guess to get an automatic success. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Don't just tempt fate. Just before, we tell, just before we teleport, I say, do you want to message Lindara and ask if she's still single? 
You know what? I ought to kill you <laughs> right now. <laughs> Is that Dara in Voldemort? Uh, no, she's uh, Maxis's sister. She's oh. back in Elm Street. So Sorry. I had thought about being nice for you for <laughs> being nice to you for I, I one fold, day. I fold up a page of sending and like slip it to you. I was I was doing it like as she was about to hit the staff <laughs> down to teleport. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a page of sending though. I'm, I'm right. I'm, 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 I'm halfway through the incantation of Elder's Blast, and then she teleports us. <laughs> hey, girl, W-Y-D. <laughs> what you do? You up? <laughs> yeah, you up? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Yield text <man. laughs> Yeah. All right. Um, we're all she she uh, she Roll a D100, please. <laughs> this is great. Seven eggplant emoji. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> so vivid. So is it the the so. ten one reads first? Yeah. And then the single number would be the second, right? Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. So I got forty three. Forty three. Which I think is barely a success. Uh, that is on target. Uh, because uh, you needed a twenty five to one hundred to be on on target. All right. Where in Boldor do you want to teleport to? Oh yeah. I mean, my guess is just. You got Baxus's mansion. You got Orland's mansion. You, you got, got a warehouse. Uh, you no, got... I'll go. I'll just go right by the uh, like the stables where the Jeffreys are. Okay. Freak uh, out the whole public. Uh, like, yeah. You just okay. pop in and we're just like Jeffreys. All right. Yeah. I I believe the Jeffreys were left at a uh, a nearby tavern. Uh, uh, you slam the the staff down. Um, uh, uh, or- or- Orlin makes a, a, a joke that that Vexus gets <laughs> a- angry and tries to cast a, a Eldritch Blast mid to, to teleport. The uh, <laughs> the head of, of the Voyager staff uh, expands throughout uh, all, all of you as you're surrounded by uh, like these swarming c- c- constellations and get sucked back in. And that is where we're going to end tonight's episode. <laughs> Son of a! <laughs> Basically. Oh. So I mean, the astro plane just gets hit with the electric blast. Some guy's like, who is that? <laughs> Shoot! No, even, even worse, some, I don't know, the hell those astro leviathans? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Start to worry to get the Yankee on this. <laughs> It hits a, a t- t- Tarrasque and it just bounces back to, to you, but because it's in the astral plane, it's going to take forever to find you. The, yeah, we're just going to have some random uh, Get the Yankees show up to us one day with a wanted poster. Does this belong to you? And it's going to look like me. And I'm going to be like... Oops. Uh, all right. So, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, we hope you had a good time. Um, uh, if you would uh, like to support us, uh, don't forget to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash underground initiative. Your name can be in the credits seen right here, over here. You'd be a cool person like that person. Uh, you know, why, why, why don't you want to be a cool person? What's the matter with you? I mean, hey, I'm not going to question your life, but I am going to ask, what is the matter with you? Um... Thank you all so very much for the support and the watch. Uh, We look forward to seeing you in the next one. And don't forget to stay incredible. I'm going to date your sister.
Sonnenschein. Ja, da muss man glücklich sein, weil da brauche ich nicht auf dieser Welt. Früh am Morgen schon zum Strand, braun gebrannt im weißen Sand. Ja, das ist die Zeit, die mir gefällt. Abends kommt da noch so ein Bummel, die Strandpromenade entlang. Und das hat seine Gründe. Sommer, See und Sonnenschein und da noch verliebt zu zweien. Ja, da muss der Mensch doch glücklich sein. 